Can I be real for a second? This is ridiculous. The whole situation is absolutely ridiculous. Can you... I have no moisture in my mouth whatsoever. I have been so scared for the premiere. I have been so scared for the stream. But we are all here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to technically the second live stream that I've done. Huge shout out to everybody that's just come over from the premiere. I guess I've got to ask, what did you guys think? Was it dramatic enough for you? <laughs> was it emotional enough for you? It was an absolute whirlwind to edit, and I really, really hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. I just want to take the moment to just say... Um, a quick thank you to to all of the members and all of the super chats in the premiere as well i think i managed to reply to most of them but i just want to say a big thank you uh, dashi washi edwin berlin you guys have been insane thank you all so much thank you thank you thank you everybody uh i can't i can't keep up with chat it, this is so incredible um thank you all so much for the uh for the support over the uh the entirety of the series can you believe that it's been six months i had to check that six months so the first video went out on the 27th of october 2023 and six nearly six months later if i was if i was really dramatic i would have like put it on on the 27th of this month but there we go so there we go yeah i think you guys have broken the chat here Where is it? There. Here. I think you guys have broken it. You guys have actually broken it. <laughs> um, uh, I don't really care, to be honest. I can't be asked fixing anything. Um, but yeah, thank you all so, so much for, for all of the support. It's all a little bit surreal for me um, and everybody. So yeah, what we're going to do today is uh, we are going to be reacting to a little bit of lore um, from the... Um, Hold up two secs. Uh, from the uh, Neddy the Noodle. I believe this isn't going to be too kind of... Um, what do you call it? Too... Spoilery. That's the word I was looking for. But um, yeah, quick word on the... Um, on the, the what do you call it? The uh, Ark Survival... Uh, animated series. Um, I'm not going to be watching that until they're out in the UK because I don't want to just watch one. I want to be able to sit down and I want to be able to watch them all. So there we go. Um, oh my God, what's going on here? Yo, Christian, thank you so much for becoming a Five member. From Ari's year, son. We are so proud of you, Butch. Thank you so much. I, there was times when I didn't think that um, that we was going to be able to get through it, but we're here. We've made it. 20 Norwegian krona from Morton Canton Islands. Oh Big up for gosh. Butch. Clapping Shit. hands. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for... This is all insane. Oh my days. <laughs> 100 Norwegian krona from Holmbeck. Premiere was so emotional. Yo, so proud thank of you, you so much. Thank Loved you so the much. series so much less than three. Thank you so much for all the effort thank you, you put into the video. Really, listen, I really appreciate it. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with anything right now. Um, this is all a little bit crazy. Uh, I don't Five know what to do. This Washi. is insane. Your arc series is genuinely the greatest piece of media Whoa. I have ever consumed. Please play the other man. Dashi Washi, thank you so much for the five. Hands. I appreciate that so, so much. Thank you. Raman, thank you for the 10 months of the memberships. Thank you so much, troops. Thank you. This is insane. Um, really, thank you. I guess, should we... Uh, let me talk about... The elephant in the room. Season pixels. Two dollars yep. from season yeah. pixels. Okay. If yep. you don't play scorched earth, we will find you. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're going to talk about now. Okay. Will I play scorched earth? Yes. Will I play it on release? Probably not. Probably not. So, for six months, the island has been uh, essentially a full-time job for me. Um, it's been uh, incredible, but also very, very difficult to do, to keep up with. Loved every second of it, and I absolutely plan on doing it again. Um, 
But what I'm going to do is we're going to be taking little bits of breaks. I'm going to be playing some other games and then we're going to come back. Did you like Did you like what I did at the beginning where I put my old Twitch intro to like, hey, hey guys, look, I play other games too. I will be playing Scorched Earth, yes, um, but probably not on release. Um, I need to have some proper proper things about it and stuff. Oh my days! <laughs> 20 pounds from Clivey. My wife said you need to get out more if you thought that was a vagina. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't thinking straight, okay? I had a huge amount of blood rushing to all, all, all different kinds of places, okay? I mean, it vaguely, anatomically, kind of looks like a vagina. But, um, but yeah. So, but, um... It was, oh, it was it was so much fun. The quality, however, of the um, what I didn't realize is when you when you do a um, a, uh, a what do you call it a, um, a a premiere, it actually only up uploads with a shit. I can't even speak. My head is absolutely. I'm not used to doing this at all. Um, yeah, the the video is going to be much better quality after the premiere. Now it basically fucks it for the for the premiere. So. Five dollars from Ari's <laughs> son. We are so proud of you, Butch. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, my my twenty Norwegian krona from Morton Canton Islands. Big up for Butch. Clapping hands. This is insane. I can't. I think my fucking things. Oh wait, live chat, live chat. There we go. One hundred Norwegian krona from Holmbeck. Premiere was so emotional. So proud of you. Thank Loved you. the series so it's, much. Oh right, we're getting these. Right, Thank we're getting these again. So I get it. For all the F there we go. This is insane, troops. Thank you all so so much. This is really. I'm not used to this at all. Oh my days. <laughs> Keep up. <laughs> what the hell? Two dollars from Season Pixels. If you okay, don't we're play catching Scorched up. Earth, we're we catching will up. find you. Heart. This is insane. You, you've actually. This is mental. This this is meant to be a YouTube video as Clive. well. My wife said you <laughs> this, need to get out What the fuck is going on? Well done, buddy. Really enjoy your arc vids. Oh, hold up. Bloodfall Angel with the 50 euros. I'm still impressed how you managed not to see a single South giga. African so am I. From Sam Henriquez. So I am I. This is insane. South Africa. This is this is insane. This is insane. I this is $10 insane. $10 from Cybercat45. This Best is insane. Best series period. Your series has been a blessing. Can't wait for Scorched. And even more so Aberration Wing. And <laughs> your other content too. Thank you for a brilliant series. Cybercat, thank you so much for the 10. Five this pounds is... from Barney Peters. You've earned yourself a pint. <laughs> a pint, thank you so much, man. I can't even begin. This is insane. $100 from Needs One. Looking forward to seeing whatever you are doing next. Really enjoyed the series. A hundred? Ah... Uh... I'm not used Swedish to this, man. From the I, I need to sit down. That tech cave slash overseer run was brilliant. I'm oh, so relieved. <laughs> thank you for being such a great content creator. Mr. Dees, thank you for the 100 cloaks, Hedgehog. Thank you. Thank you for being a watcher. Five dollars from Rolu D. <laughs> Proud of you, Butch. <laughs> thank you, Roller, for the five. This is insane. Oh, wow. Guys, you're gonna break me. This is actually $19 fucked. dollars and ninety nine cents from Alari Design. <laughs> Let's go, Butch. But proud of you, Pip. Pip, thank you so much. I <sighs> Ten Australian dollars from Mitty. <sighs> Thanks for the show, Butch. Can't <laughs> wait to see what's next in Mitty, you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alari. Thank you. I'm worried I'm missing people. 500 Danish krona from Megil. Eels! Oh my! Pint on me. <laughs> That's more than one pint. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. This is $9.99 insane. $9.99 from Mike Major. Oh, oh. Dino, Dino, Dino. <sighs> Mike, thank you for the eight, the, ten, the nine, 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 Sorry. I can't $5 read. $5 from Amanda Forster. How long do we have to buy the Save the Game shirt? Yo! I need to sneak one in on my next order. Amanda, don't worry. Uh, it's going to be a little bit longer. I was I was trying to tell you guys about it, and then you all started this going on, and now I don't know what to do with my hands or react, if I'm being really honest. So let me just have a drink of water. $5 from 
five dollars from Ari's slottier son. I was so surprised when you said the boss looked like a you know what. It's all love here from Haiti. <sighs> $20 from this is, fuck, this is insane. The series. Keep up the work. <laughs> Wait, where do we catch up to? Um, from Haiti, Rizzleson, thank you so fucking much for the uh, for the five. I appreciate $10 that. $10 from Dark Phoenix. Really enjoyed your playthrough. <laughs> Shit! Looking forward Dark to Phoenix, her. thank you for the 10. Thank you for the 10. Germs of Fun, thank you for the 20. Really, really appreciate that. $10 from Nathan Jones. Jesus, my Take microphone's my flaccid, like but I can food. assure you I am also, not. Can you tell us how many hours it took to complete the game? Yes, I can. Hold up. Let me uh, let me load up my Steam. Let me load up my Steam real quick. I am shooketh, guys. Have I missed anything? Yo, uh, the German one, thank you so much for the uh, for the membership. Um, uh, ten uh, Romanian lay from Christian. Alari, thank you for the 10. Been here since you had 3k subscribers proud of you. Sheesh, that, that, oh my days. I can't, this is insane. Thank you so $9 much. $9.99 from Alari Design. Pint on me for wrong. Uh, this isn't, I can't keep up. You guys have broken everything. Everything's broken. Everything is broken. I'm meant to be, see, people are like, butch, 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 butch. Why don't you stream on YouTube all the time? I'm like, because I don't, this meant to be professional. Where am I up to? Right, you guys have actually broken stream elements big time. Let me manually go through these. Um, Dark Phoenix, thank you so, so much for the 10. Nathan Jones, thank you so, so much for the 10. $10 from Suspicious Walrus. Can't wait to see whatever you play ah, next. This is... <laughs> oh my, they Suspicious Walrus, thank you so much for the 10. 11 euros and 9 Glowing! Cents glowing onion pie. <laughs> You made me cry. Thank so you so much. You, purple heart. Thank you so much. You guys, do you seriously do not need to super $10 chat? dollars from Rachel D. Adams. I've not died. You made me want to play ARK again. Use code abutchex3 check at checkout for zero percent off. I've been telling other folks about you. Great job. <laughs> Thank you for spreading the word of your Lord Butch. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, guys, I'm not dying. I'm, I'm still here. We're still going to be uploading videos. Um, you seriously, this is this is the most ridiculous uh, display of generosity. Oh my days! From Dragonia. Hi, Dragonia, okay. thank you I so hope much. You eventually, go trough mm -hmm. all the maps and law. Yes. Ark's story is so good, and it's a shame most PPS skip over it. Save the game. Save the game. Save the game. This is five dollars from Foxy Bloodfallen. As a seasoned arc player with over 600 hours into it, the Spyglass mod to see the specific points into the babies and babies drop boosted XP. Spyglass, yeah, I got told off for using that. <laughs> I got $5 told off. from Best Bear Gaming. You give me inspiration to continue my journey on yes. trying to start a YouTube channel. Go for it. Will you be start. watching Arc Animated Series? I will be watching the Arc Animated Series, but not till it releases in the UK. 10,000 Hungarian forints from Fixer slash X. I can't even Hi. see chat. I'm following you from Hungary. Hungary! Hope you'll play no. the game again. I'm Other fi maps. fine. I've just eaten. Your videos are great. This game was really <laughs> enjoyed by you and your viewers. Thank you. I enjoyed playing every single second of it. That's a complete lie. $10 this, from Mama this Java. This is just Epic insane. Fight. Loved your reactions to seeing where the drops come from. <laughs> I don't. I still don't understand that. That's what I'm going to try and understand.
you guys can chat as well as um super this is in local currency guys as well five dollars by the way is zlottier son you've inspired me to grow my youtube channel with go for 230 it. subs right now you go for it keep it going baby keep it going keep it going don't give up don't give up 14 south african rand from slag IRS joined the chat zero <laughs> underscore zero. <laughs> IRS, I know. Shit. <laughs> Guys, thank you all so much for this. I don't know what to do. dollars and 99 cents from alternate fallacy. Quit the job. Quit the... No, we're a long way from that. We, we're a long way from that. I'm getting married this year. I've got the wedding to pay for, so... You know, $4 I need... and 99 cents from Alari Design. <sighs> Don't tell us what to do, but you will take our money. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five and for the others before in the premiere. I really, really appreciate that. 50 oh. Danish kroner from Ye Yates, man! brother. Yates. Amazing playthrough. Your dedication is absolutely I incredible. appreciate much that. Thank you. you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, troops. 1,000 Hungarian <laughs> forums from Fixer slash X. Did you know that the biggest predatory dinosaur you've never seen in the game? The Giga. Giganotosaurus. We saw the dossier. We saw the explorer note, but now we didn't see it. We didn't see it. 200 so. Danish kroner from Megil. Egil. I'm dying. Here is to flowers. No, I'm not dying, JK. guys. I'm going to be here still. Still, still, still. <laughs> Five euros from Maximilian Get. Amazing six months. Dino. Dino, let's go. Dino. Dino. Chat, I'm going to be getting so much salmon and bagels with cream cheese. Five pounds from Dashi Washi. Dashi Washi. So much You've been going mental. Can't even speak. I can't. I don't, know to, face. I don't know what to do. I'm getting to the point where I feel a little bit guilty. I won't even lie to you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm Five dollars from Songbird Gaming. Songbird! So proud of you, Butch. This hey, was the thank best you. YouTube video I've ever seen, bar none. Thank you so much, Songbird. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Ten dollars from Suspicious Walrus. $10. Cody West says they're your biggest fan, but they're poor. This is from them. Fair. Cody West, I guess. Thank you so much for the 10. Oh my god. Rampy's in the chat. Oh my days. We have some Ark Legends. What's going on, Rampy? Uh, I'm getting married this November is my wedding, so I'm very excited for it all. Uh, Regeneration Nation TV, what's going on? Welcome on in. Oh my days. Right. I think I can talk now. I think I can talk. Let me... Um... <sighs> Honestly, I don't even know what to say. Um, I'm really not used to all of this, so I apologize if this isn't quite as smooth and as um, professional as other streams. But let's just talk a little bit about what's next on the channel. I see a lot of people asking about this. So yes, I will be playing Scorched Earth, but not right away. I need to uh, just... Never mind. <laughs> Hold that thought. Twenty dollars from Owlin Koo. That's insane. Thank you so much for the amazing. Thank you, series. Owlin. Thank you. My favorite arc content by a long shot. <laughs> that I cannot mental. wait for the next That's one. Mental. Thank you so much for the twenty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I don't know what game I'm playing next. There is going to be one more arc video, and I am making a um. Berlin. Fifty dollars from Berlin CB. Let's hear this talking you're talking about. You literally gave fifty in the fucking premiere, dude. Holy hell! Thank you so much. Thank you. This is insane. I'm so nervous. I feel sick. Thank you so much, everybody, for the generosity. It's ridiculous. But there is going to be one more arc video. I'm going to be making the mother of all monster, monster, monster arc movies. I've done it before with the big playthroughs. I'm going to put together a huge comp compilation of it all. Huge. 400 Hungarian forums from Fixer slash X. Fixer, thank Save you so game. much. Dino. Dino. Um, but yeah, so going to be making the movie to put it all together. Um, it's going to be colossal. I have no idea how to do it. So it took me, my game time in ARC was. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. It was. Let's get some guesses. Let's get some... Oh, I've got the number here. You guys can't see it. How long do you think it took me? I want to see your best guesses. Bearing in mind, 48 episodes. Of all of those different things. I was a bot. Okay. Got 10 trillion hours mods banning. Uh, 300, 600, 350... I can't. Chat's going too fast. How do people do this for a job? 
Oh my days, I feel sick looking at that chat. That's moving so fast. <laughs> Yo, mom, I'm famous. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to take a selfie with you all right now, okay? So everybody just say hi, all right? Uh, this is going in my memory bank. There we go. Thank you all. Sorry, I know. Listen, I'll, I'm going to become irrelevant now that Ark's be, uh, finished on the channel, so I need to do it. It took me, in total... Two hundred and nine hours. Two hundred and nine hours. Thank you. Thank you. I know. Thank you very much. Two hundred and nine. So I think it was relatively early on in the playthrough. Um three hundred and thirty dashi. Sorry. Two pounds from dashi washi. No. Sorry. Three hundred and thirty hours <laughs> in calling it. Two hundred and nine. Um which obviously isn't a lot in six months of gaming, but for every hour of editing, there was on average, every every hour of recording, there was on average three, two hours of editing, two to three hours of editing. So there we go. So there we are, troops. 209. Now, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what game I'm going to be playing next. Who knows? Um, but I'm going to be making the big movie. Um, just getting the video ready here. <laughs> Gonna be making a big movie, um, so that'll take me probably all of next week, and then we'll uh, figure out what's going next. But two pounds from Smithers, six hundred and sixty-six, two hundred and nine hours. Did I get it right, Lamal? You didn't say. You didn't say two hundred nine. You did not. Prove that. Prove that. Because that's insane if you did. <laughs> um. Yeah, I have no idea what Subnautica is. Yeah, but we'll see. Now, I see when I played Pal World. Um, oh, some people did not like that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we've got loads of loads of stuff. But anyway, I've been how long have I been going for? Half an hour. <laughs> Shit. Chat, I can't be too late tonight. I've got work in the morning. I'm, I'm reacting to a video that's an hour and a half long. And I've got work. 20 <laughs> Danish Krona from Megil Swords. Is the new horizon like arc no idea i haven't played the new horizon but I, yeah i don't know i don't know what game is going to be playing next i don't know what game is going to be playing next so but we um will uh <laughs> this is insane this $2 is insane from cybercat 45 mm -hmm. hollow knight hollow knight i've never played hollow knight i've never played hollow knight so um anyway troops shall we move on to the video that's why i'm here um the thing about arc right is the only way that you get the lore is through um, the explorer notes and stuff, right? But I found the explorer notes so few and far between that I didn't have a clue what was going on. I know there's some lady called Helena who's Australian. David Tennant, who's proper English. I know David Tennant is in English. And then there's the... The, my, my, the, the ones that I have to read... So there's like the ones that I have to read, the other one, and then there's an, a Roman one, is there not? Or Five something? pounds from Smith as 666. I am playing the new Horizon now and it's amazing. Defo recommend. Hell yeah, I played the first one. I played the first one, but I haven't played the second one. I haven't played the second $1 one. One dollar and 99 cents from Alari Design. <laughs> Start the video. Alari, I'm trying. We make it rain. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Uh. Ten dollars from Suspicious Walrus. What games are you interested in playing? <laughs> Thank you so much for the ten. Uh, all of the games, all of the games, all of the games. I am a variety creator. Um, obviously, Ark's been very prominent on the channel over the past six months. Uh, but we will be, we'll, we, 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 we will play. Emma, I see you there, Emma. Are you watching with Daz? Loz texts me and was like, Emma's watching, and I was like, who in the mic? Emma and Daz, and I'm, then I got nervous. Um, yeah, I know the chat's frozen on the screen. I don't, I, I could just turn it off, I think, actually. No. There we go. Turn it off. Is that distracting? Right. But I'm going to be watching this video now. As far as I understand, this video, now this is from Neddy the Noodle, who, as far as what I've seen, and I haven't seen a huge amount of, um, 
content from other art creators. Rampy, I'm coming to you next. Um, Neddy has created a bunch of video and is kind of the king of the law behind ARC. Now, this video right here, it works. I'm going to have to get rid of that chat as well because you, you've you lot have broken it. Um, this, what it is here, it says here, a long requested video. This is a complete chronological order of the island's explorer notes. Um, it's got a little bit of context before and after. So um, it was actually Songbird, a shout out to Songbird that recommended this to me as it's a really good one to, to watch because it's not spoilery for the other maps or the, the, the kind of the bigger story of Ark in general, um, but it's it's going to be good for this one. So this is what we're going to go through. This is what we're going to watch. Um, I just want to kind of see what's going on with it. I want to be able to um, get to grips a little bit more with Ark because in truth, I have no idea what, what's going on with the storyline. I'd go and play and then I have to leave for a couple of days while I go and edit it and I've just no pieces are in my head together I still don't understand what happened at the end we was flying about for a bit after we ascended I fought the robotic vagina we seen the supply drops come down I looked through the spyglass at the uh the hologram and there was a weird kind of kind of a human but wasn't a human um so we'll have to see so what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch this um the link the, to this video is in the description right now so if you haven't watched that please go over and go and drop that video a like and stuff as well while you're at it give this video a like right now subscribe if you're not it'll be great to have you here likes um comments all that sort of stuff can massively massively help me battle that youtube algorithm so this could be quite huge i'm excited for this are we ready are you guys ready are we ready oh $50 from Berlin CB, last one, I promise. Supposedly there is a video to watch. Berlin, that's insane. Ah, oh, Thank you so much for the 50. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to sell to you guys really quickly. This is the last I'll talk about it. Once the movie is out, this is limited edition. So... Once the movie's out, this is going to be available until the 30th of April, pretty much, okay? So there we go. I know people have been asking, when does the Save the Game t-shirt leave in the store? Are we ready, troops? We have an hour and a half. We have an hour and a half. Listen, let's do it. Three, two, get that in 1440p. Three, two, one. Here we go. Together. Oh, I should probably, I should probably put it on the right screen. You guys will have to let you know if the volume's okay for you guys. So, that's an obelisk. I know that much. Do not tell me that he has gone through and reenacted in the game what the Explorer notes are saying. Boog. 79 pence from Bugo. Thank you so much, Bugo. Thank you for the super. Is that okay for you guys? He has! He ha Oh, this is the theme tune, isn't it? That's a nice bass. There's metal fences? There's a wolf head? I've lost count of how many sunrises this is the first one. since I arrived on this island. Hundreds. 20 pounds from Grumpy Bear. Just oh. seen the end of the journey. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> loved the whole playthrough. Tybush. Thank you so much for the 20. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really, really appreciate that, Grumpy. You getting like? One pound from Mendoza 2686. This is insane. Right, hold up, hold up. I think the lagglers have gone now. I think the lag's gone. Okay, it's not playing now. It's not playing. Okay. Yet, 
each one seems more beautiful than the last. All right, you'll have to let me know. Sometimes I, I, I press record on the thing. It wasn't having it, apparently. So we should be good now, okay? We should be good. Yeah? We're good. All right, let's do it. Lena out just you want me to move my face cam up? And watch it while flying through the morning sky. It's in these simple moments Here we that go. I realize just how lucky I am. Not that I was unhappy exploring the reefs and rainforests back in Oz, but I wasn't ever going to spot a Bronto stomping around the outback, was I? Since I got here, I've had the opportunity to study creatures that no other biologist Can you not hear? It's, it's so I loud for me. Is, it, is the volume good? Because look, it's literally full. I think y'all are deaf. Hold on. You can hear it fine. I hear it loudly. Go for that. Level up your gaming space with metal posters from Displate. Swap them whenever you like. Hang your Displates in seconds. Get official art from your favorite games on a uniquely designed metal canvas and choose from thousands of posters. Join. I'd been holding out for a change in weather before studying the wildlife of this island's peculiar tundra region, but I think it's safe to say that it's not forthcoming. First really note on that, she mentioned Australia before. So, from what I understand, the island we weren't on Earth, but Earth is still involved somehow. I think something ha has like happened on Earth Maybe science got, oh my god, is this an extension of Jurassic Park? Some sort of experiment happened because she mentioned Australia. I think that globe we saw at the Overseer Boss as well, I think that was a thing. So... This planet has no axial tilt. Fish Dairies, thank you so much no for, the, uh, for the super chat. I really the appreciate it, thank you. The isn't melting anytime soon. Can't say I'm happy about it. The cold and I are not the best of mates, I can tell you that. But I'll just have to say the climate during the Jurassic and Cretaceous that volcano? periods that many of these islands creatures hail from was fairly uniform. So an Arctic region is quite the oddity. It'd be plain stubborn of me not to have a Captain Cook. The tribe that calls themselves the Howling Wolves has really made this northern adventure Howling a lot wolf. easier. Well, them and Athena. She's right at home here. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay Rockwell just up and giving me an Argentavis. He said our conversations are payment enough, but I still feel an Argentavis. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay Rockwell. Rockwell gave Helena an Argentavis? Just so they met. Just up giving me an Argentavis. He said our okay. conversations are payment enough, but I still feel guilty. I should remember to collect some floral samples for him while I'm here. Anyway, tagging along with the wolves has been a good introduction to the region. But I think so I'm ready to was make part of a um, to make real scientific conclusions. A northern tribe. I need to observe these animals undisturbed in their natural habitat for long periods of time. <sighs> what a day! There oh, I am putting the finishing touches Rex. on the mammoth dossier when all of a sudden a tyrannosaurus starts attacking the herd. Struth! A Tyrannosaurus wading through the bloody snow. I asked the Howling Wolves at the nearest camp, and apparently this is a common thing. I don't think They're Rex not is new to the region. It could be just doesn't snow. make sense. How can a Tyrannosaurus survive in this climate? And how can the introduction of an apex predator not shift the entire ecosystem? Very That's true. The ecosystem is very unbalanced on this planet, the island, or whatever it's called. Again, I don't know if it's a planet or anything. But yeah, bearing in, bearing in mind, troops, I don't know anything beyond the island. Um, so I'm going to focus on the um, the video. I know mods are doing really well, uh, deleting mad spoilers and stuff. But the good thing is I have a shit memory as well. So into this as soon as I can. Well, I've combed through more carnivore droppings that I care to calculate. I can't believe the I quality can't of this. Say they provided many answers. All the predators in this region have very similar diets. With so many different predators hunting the same prey, mm -hmm. the populations of all these species shouldn't be sustainable. Yet, I found nothing they to respawn. indicate that any population shift is actually happening. It's just bizarre. I wonder if the there's a, here, a law reason behind how the, um, 
like dinos keep respawning or is that just a gameplay mechanic that we just kind of the more i realize that this region shouldn't exist its climate is out of sync with the rest of the island many of the creatures here are millions of years ahead of the dinosaurs and the ecosystem is almost static wait well wolves Something's not around off. when dinos were then you my notes i didn't Helena, think about that at all. you're a dipstick Going through my notes, I have realized that there are more predators than prey across this entire island. True. And almost double. Carnivores versus That's herbivores. That's the opposite of how any ecosystem is supposed to work. I can't believe it took a this Tyrannosaurus walking through the snow for me to see this. It's plain as day. What to make of it? Add in the human factor, and it's possible for this island to continue as it is by natural means. So what? Is this island's wildlife being monitored and curated somehow? I should speak with Rockwell. Maybe he's come There's to Rockwell's camp. Conclusion. I think that's Rockwell's camp. I think. Oh. Neddy be getting that ad revenue today. Yes, I don't have YouTube premium. Greetings don't shout at me. salutations, dear reader. If these words Rockwell. are gracing your eyes, then you have had the good fortune to find the journal of Sir Edmund Rockwell. Stupendous scholar, gallant gentleman, and explorer extraordinaire. It also means that it's entirely possible that I've met some unseemly end on this fascinating but exceedingly dangerous island that I call home. I suppose you could have also stolen it, or I could have misplaced it. In which case, please proceed to either hang your head in shame or return it to me at once. Whichever is appropriate. Regards, Sir Edmund Rockwell. So, uh, uh, Rockwell is... Uh, some sort of research researcher. That's what I've struggled getting into my head. Is like, who these actually are. Helena, Rockwell, the Roman geezer, and the other one. What's going on, Kiwi? Welcome in, troops. Sorry if I'm, if I'm missing anybody that comes through, troops. The wondrous properties of the flora on this island will never cease to amaze me. I never looked into the if flowers too much, did I? told my colleagues in London that I could create a concoction capable of erasing someone's memories. I'd be laughed out of the room and never invited to tea again. Mind wipe tonic that lets you uh, redistribute your engrams or your points. Yet here it sits. That one, my purple mind one. Mind wipe tonic. That is, the one on the left is... Uh, fuck, foco life or sorry, chili or something? Uh, is that Kalian soup? As usual, I've had tribal leaders groveling at the gates of Rockwell Manor just for the tiniest of samples, and for the recipe, oh, the bounties I've been offered. I'm not interested in their riches, though. I have their protection, supplies for my studies, and all the time in the world. What more could I ask for? That's kind of like my base These on the beach. These tribal negotiations give me a headache every time. Mm. The Black Thumbs are mad that the Painted Sharks sunk two of their barges. Oh my god! But the Painted Sharks say that the barges it's were a pirate too close ship. to Southern Haven, and they were perfectly within their rights to sink them, as per the Southern Isle Accords. Typically, neither side is willing to budge. What a bother. I'd just as soon mind wipe the lot of them and return to my studies. Alas, such is the fate of the island's most respected neutral entity. At least the painted sharks brought some fresh so fish. Oh god. Perhaps I'll side with them. Any chemist worth his salt knows the irreplaceable value of testing. Until the tonic has been rigorously tested, it is less useful than water. If only I could persuade this island's less intellectual inhabitants to see that tests on Mesopithecus serve well for early trials, but they are no oh. replacement for genuine human subjects at later safer. Rockwell is that sort of... Now, I'm going to look away from chat when I say this. Rockwell is definitely that sort of um, character where I feel like he's kind of like grey in terms of his morality. He seems a little bit like... There's, I've, got, I've got the vibe there's a little bit of a disregard for other humans and he's one of these guys that is like science science by subjects I, science of course, above morality participants that are prepared 
to risk mild headaches and much less mild nausea for the sake of science. The Laughing Skulls offered rather less willing participants at one point, but I declined. With how difficult it is to find volunteers these days, I sometimes regret it. This is such a good production. Where am I? These notes, I was never sure on these. These are the ones that didn't make sense to me at all. How did I arrive? I've asked these questions many times since I awoke on this foreign shore. So she woke up like me. Stop. They do not matter. Yeah. Your answers will not save me. So I will focus on a different Ooh. question. How can I survive? This question always has an answer, though it is ever changing. And it has helped me find resolve in moments of uncertainty. I what's the deal with that thing then? Just days ago. I never thought I'd fear again. I thought my fear died with the yellow turbans. Yet, when I see a great lizard turn its eyes on me, Raptor. I know fear is exactly what I feel. Okay. Wow, Neddy. Neddy's got these uh, these ads on. <laughs> That's for fucking sure. Holy. <laughs> right. Armed and clothed now, though crudely. My stone spearhead makes me long for my village's weaponsmith, but it's a village. So how did she get I here? I use it to hunt the slow, fat birds that wander the coast. Dodos. I do not know how such creatures survive here at all, but I am grateful for the that to a dodo. Provide. I didn't kill a dodo I for the longest time. I save my arrows for the more dangerous creatures. Delphosaur. Like the lizards with ears like fans. Yeah. This spit burns the things it touches. No, not just the creatures. They are not the only danger. Yesterday, I found footprints in the sand that were not my own. That's a great Leona Lewis I'm song. Not alone. Defending my hometown during the uprising, uprising. taught me more in months What's the than uprising? I learned in all the years before it. Among those lessons, <gasps> men will always underestimate women in battle. True. Humans can be cruel. I've seen Lord of the Rings. Both apply today. The footprints I found were not from one man, but three. Their eyes changed when they saw me, like wolves discovering a lamb. They were wrong. They were merely mutts. I was the wolf. Two died to arrows after yes. ignoring my warnings. The last to my spear. <laughs> he I was free. bodies out in the wild. I cannot stay here. The beaches are too open. Yeah. To survive, Get I must brave the jungle. It is the chaos of this land that is truly Roman. disturbing. To we got the Roman guy. So Rockwell is the really kind of this. I'm looking away from chat. The 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 uh, bad scientist. Yeah. And then I feel like Helena is like an explorer. And then. Neddy! What's going on, you beautiful bastards? I am in awe of, um, I seen, right, Songbird recommended me this video and was like, hey, you should maybe, like, watch this one. And then I was like, okay, it's probably just, like, you talking. I thought it was you talking for an hour and a half about the law. The fact that you have gone through and gone in and made cinematics for these is mental. Neddy, what's going on? Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. We're learning. So, Rockwell, bad, bad scientist. Or at least morally grey from what I know. Helena, kind of an explorer. She wants to understand more, but she's more morally sound. What was the name of the other one? What's this one? To me. Brave. What's her name? We've got her who washed up on the beach. And then now, of this land. Roman guy. It is the chaos of this land that is truly disturbing to me. Even more than its most titanic and vicious beasts. Mei Lin. Animals are meant to be savage. Even when tamed, they Mei are Lin. not truly civilized. They seem more like survivors. Mei Lin survivor. Gaius Marcellus Nerva. Don't know about him. I'm learning now. But man? Man is supposed to be above the animal. Yet, 
The people here live in squalor and fight viciously over scraps like stray dogs. Hold the phone. Wait, 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 wait. Romans were a long time ago, right? Don't tell me there's some sort of time thing here. And like Helena's like modern day Australia. And then we've got Roman. I have convinced some of them to band together under my leadership. And together. But yeah, don't actually tell me, Chan. No spoilers. And order. <laughs> Unfortunately, they are untrained and lack cohesion. I'll have to fix that. Gaius Marcellus Nova. Victory through discipline. Oh, he's definitely some I remind general. My first command in Dacia. Many men question my rank, wondering why they had to follow a centurion so young. It took time to earn their trust. How did the Romans get on to? I could not have even a single soldier questioning me in battle, lest our discipline fail. Without discipline, our century's formation would crumble, and the legion would be exposed. It is the same here. These ragged men and women will not become a unit overnight. But I am patient, and more experienced than I was in Dacia. I may be far from Rome. Oh my god, I the size of that! Do people actually make structures this big? That's what I'm kind of excited for now. Now I've finished the island, I'm excited to go through and be able to watch some other creators in kind of their playthrough and, and see how people do it differently. Because obviously my YouTube comments were filled with how much of a bot I am. I'm okay, I can completely understand that. But I don't have any reference for how good or bad I am at the game, if you feel me. So I kind of want to um, be able to see, watch more other people and then realize, was I actually that shit? Oh, or was I? I, I want to know, I want to get a grip of how was I for like first time players, if that makes sense. Like, was I better than you playing the first time? You know what I mean? Yeah, Neddy, I'm excited for that. I'm excited. Very, very excited. Reacting to building videos later? I could maybe do that, for sure. I know this for certain. This island will know This is exciting. exciting. This, this is exciting. Help bring our world back to life. Adopt an animal with WWF. Neddy, you've literally made me buy YouTube Premium right now. How do I buy YouTube Premium? <laughs> uh, premium. All right, give me Premium. Get you twelve ninety nine a month. <laughs> Student. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I think we've had enough super chats tonight. Business expense. <laughs> Neddy, it's all good, brother. <laughs> cough, cough. Ad block. <clears throat> cough, cough. Bye. Well, right, okay. Done. Done. Okay. Okay. Where's the video gone? Oh no, I've lost the video, I think. Oh shit, I have. Let me go back to the... Neddy... Videos. Popular. This one. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, we have, there we fun. No more ad interruptions. Business expense, business expense. Here we go. Training grew easier once my charges began to see though. the results. In fact, they found such a wellspring of enthusiasm. <laughs> no, Maximilian, no. Do not, you do not need the gift. Are you, did you see the beginning of the stream? Thank you so much for the five. Really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Training grew easier once my charges began to see the results. In fact, they found such a wellspring of enthusiasm that their drills and chores alone cannot Jesus. contain it. This morning, I found a flag flying above the armory. It was the symbol of the Imperial Legion, but with one of the it's islands Ryan. flying lizards replacing the eagle and words in a foreign language replacing SPQR. 
I'm told they say the new legion. Oh, I... Neddy. Neddy with the fucking 20. W Neddy. <laughs> Thank you for watching our stuff. You do not, you, listen, you do, don't need to do that. I very much appreciate that. Thank you. Chat. Uh, link in the description for the video that we're watching of Neddy's. If you haven't watched it, go over to the thing right now, like it, close the tab, come back here to me. Don't stay at Neddy's, to me. Watch me. When I go to bed, then go watch Neddy. All right? Neddy, thank you so much, brother. Thank you for all of the work that you've been doing with, with Ark. I'm only, I'm only uh, starting to scratch the surface of just how... Um, yeah. Ned, he is literally dono to me for getting premium for watching his video. <laughs> All right. I admit, I smiled at the sight. Here we go. Very well, then. It's time to find out if I've created true legionnaires. So Nerva was making the an army on the and island. Dawn. And they're marching on somebody. I never thought this island was... Normal, exactly. Helena. I mean, there are giant obelisks floating in the sky, for Pete's sake. I want to know more Not about to them. mention that cave I found, which Ooh. had a platform similar to those found at Take the base cave. of said obelisks. Well, similar, except for those oddly shaped holes that were carved into its podium. I guess I just didn't care about all that. So long as I had my beautiful, unique, and untainted ecosystem to study. I She's a... Um... But now... Like a biologist, no, geologist? I shouldn't write it off just yet. Not before I arrive at Rockwell's. There's still a chance that my data is off, or that I miss something data. obvious. Data. Data. It's data. Data. The data. Thank you so much, Dragonia, for being there. I really, really appreciate it. Well, a paleontologist plus ecologist plus... I won't give up on my paradise just yet. Biologist. Miss Walker's Dada. impromptu visits are always an unexpected pleasure. After that headache with the sharks and black thumbs, a lively tea time discussion about the abnormalities of the Ark's ecosystem was precisely what I needed. Thank goodness I Helena. managed to find an intellectual colleague that shares my love. This is the meeting! This is the meeting! It saddens me to think that Miss Walker's charming colonial accent would keep her out of the more prestigious institutions and societies back home. Another of the Ark's wonders. The fuck is that water tap? And why is it much bigger than my tap? Chemistry bench, power generator, table chair, got them all. Fridge, no problem. Bookshelf, bookshelf. Listen, there's now that this Rockwell guy had that Dino didn't have. Although the tap is. Yeah. It is a true meritocracy unlike any in the modern world. If Miss Walker and I could find and cultivate more minds like ourselves, we could create a true... Oh my god, I know how Ark ends. A fist fight between Helena and Rockwell. The devs pull you all in. It's this game about dinosaurs, 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 dinosaurs. And you think, oh my God, it's going to end with a dinosaur fight. No, Helena and Rockwell start scrapping because Rockwell goes too far. He's so hell-bent on science and and making a, a super weapon of dinos. He breeds them all. Mutations! He's so focused on mutations that he tries to do it and he ends up breathing this like Jurassic kind of thing and that's like, oh no. And then Helena's like, no! No! We need to respect the balance of life. And then there's this big kind of dragon kind of t-rex thing that they've shagged and it's mutated and it's all red and on the final map i don't know what it is but there's a big mountain and the dragon flies up and it comes up and over the volcano and the camera kind of orbit rounds and helena stood there at the top with nothing but a wooden spear and you think that the dragon is like gonna kill Helena and Rockwell's there's just like <laughs> like laughing as like flying through and then all of a sudden 
you hear this little rumble. And this is on, like, on top of the mountain. And all of the dinos, the natural dinos, start running up the mountain and flying up the mountain. And it's like mutation versus normal balancing. And in that distraction, Helena runs up with a spear and just fucking twats Rockwell right on the bridge of the nose. Scientific Utopia. I really need to visit Rockwell more. It's so energizing mm. to be around. We know how this ends. Experience that still has so much excitement for He's his manipulating work. you, Helena. And talking to him always helps me gain perspective. As for the island's ecological abnormalities, Rockwell reassured me that I was jumping to conclusions. He made Redwood Forest. Been there. Made a great point. Just because this place. Mm. That's where Vin Diesel comes into it. Vin Diesel is a mutated human. Rockwell goes from mutating dinos to mu mutating humans. Hence Vin Diesel. He's kind of funny looking. This doesn't follow the scientific laws we're used to. It doesn't mean it follows no scientific laws at all. After all, science is about discovery and new discoveries can invalidate old principles. So before I latch onto my theory, I need to gather more empirical evidence. Otherwise, I'm no scientist. Mm. Today I scored a great victory. Oh, my Lin again. As the sun set, I happened upon the small village on the bluff. Unfortunately, it was besieged by a man who rode a lizard like a horse Fucking and wielded a stick rifle. that spat fire. It would have been safer to retreat, but I could not ignore the bodies. This Chat. was a slaughter. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good do you think I'm going to be at PvP? Mouse time. Thank you very much for the uh, for the two two bucks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I'll be class at PvP. Did you guys see how good I was with that crossbow at the beginning? Surprise can be a warrior's All right, I just seen fucking about 13 zeros in there. You're all twats. Most powerful weapon. And I wielded it effectively. Shite bags. My first arrow found the lizard's throat, and many more pierced the man's back once he tumbled from the saddle. He never saw his vanquisher. I'd be like, mate, look at that assault rifle, though. I should have spared the beast. A mount would be welcome. The surviving villagers let me claim the lizard rider's armor and weapons, and gave me shelter for the night. To my surprise, I understood them. Their mouths moved strangely. But in my years, I heard the language of my home. They say it is the work of the metal object in my wrist. Wait, what? So, the mouths move strangely. So, that arc thing was translating the language. Huh. I do not understand. But they had no reason to lie. That night, I dreamt of the uprising. But this time, I was Lieutenant Guan, lifting the siege on my village in a single gallant charge. Yet, when I woke, I was just Mei Ying, and the villagers were gone. It was I a am dream? a stranger to them, but my heart feels heavier for don't, their loss. Don't go in the ocean. I must carry on alone. The villagers had made taming beasts sound simple. But my first attempt was nearly my last. My prey was the same kind of two-legged lizard as the raider's steed, what the villagers called a raptor. But this one was strong. Even as my toxin-laced arrows knocked him Listen, out. Listen, Mylin might be good, but did she take down an alpha raptor with a primitive bow? You guys forget. You guys are focused on my failures. You guys are focused on my reaction to the ocean. A jumping ability in the lava cave and my forgetfulness. Did you remember that I took down the Alpha Raptor? Oh, but Butch, you had boosted rates. It doesn't count if you don't do more bosses on Alpha. It's egregious. He was able to make one final lunge for my arm. He nearly took it. Carefully, Neddy, this I is ridiculous, dude. Meat as you rested. How? Look, he, he was. Ch able I don't. If you guys have understood, like. This explorer note 
I reckon it took over an hour per took explorer one note. final lunge for my arm. He nearly took it. Carefully, I fed him scraps of meat as he rested. And when he finally woke, I kept my weapon trained on him. Only when I was sure that he was docile did I notice his appearance. This is insane. All black, save his white shins and feet. Right then, I named him Wu Zui. And while I do not believe in fate, she I felt that this beast would carry me home. The raptors are improving. They know to follow Wu Zui, and Wu Zui knows to listen to me. So Wu Zui is like the without riders the master cannot raptor. maintain a formation, but they can at least run close together. In time, they have even learned how to attack and retreat at my signal during our hunts on the plains. Together, Wu Zui and his five brothers are like a light cavalry unit, and I am their commander. Unfortunately, they are all I really have. I'm not much of a craftsman, and Same. have few possessions. Same. Not everyone here is like me, though. There may be some who can craft, but cannot fight. This is on the Evolved engine as well, isn't it? Kind of looks a bit janky. Perhaps we could trade. The defense went spectacularly. Like many tribes, the Red Hawks relied on. Mylin, Nerva, the Romans, is telling us about the tribes. Isn't it? This is the beginning of tribes. Tarly right, it's making a bit of force. sense now. They thought only of charging in with their beasts and their guns, with no regard for their surroundings. They never expected a sortie, much less one that came from their exposed flank. Our victory was so complete that my benefactors not only rewarded me with the weapons and supplies they promised, but extra pack animals to carry them. Hyenas! With each battle, my skills improve and my ranks swell, if only with beasts. I don't mind. So that there's no difference between the explorer notes between Evolved and Ascendant, no? That. The people that I care about are back home. Until I return, Wu Zui is enough company. Oh! <clears throat> that was a bit. I knew I'd chosen a soft target to test my men. Never again. But I had expected a little more resistance. The tribe we assaulted was young, but supposedly they had seen some success as raiders. I cannot see how, given how swiftly they fell into disarray. I'm trying to see if I recognize some any of the even places. Attempted to flee, Swamp. But they did not get far. After this scouring the fortifications for supplies, we raised them to the ground and planted our flag among the ashes. Let every savage and tribal pretender know, the new legion has arrived. Oh. I am finally satisfied with our defenses against flying creatures. Oh. The solution was obvious once I stopped thinking of them as special. With any foe, the goal is to control their actions. So instead of trying to block flyers completely, we created apparent holes in our aerial defense that entice attackers oh God. in to kill Hatches in the top! That is clever. Oh my days, why didn't I think of that? I could have made like an aircraft hangar kind of thing. We created apparent holes in our aerial defense oh. that entice attackers into kill zones. That's class. Our architect was grateful for the solution. He had been dreading trying to build a roof over the whole fortress. We have grown too large for that to be practical, and soon we'll be larger still. He looks a bit like Dino. Our first true war begins soon, and I suspect many Black Thumb shall defect before its end. It did not take long for me to grow accustomed to the weapons of this world. Rifles, I see Many that. of which are called guns. That is interesting. So, Nerva and his Romans. Okay, let me try and put together what's going on here. Somehow, now I don't know, it's not told me yet. And I don't think I'm going to know I get the idea with, with the island. But somehow, all of these people have ended up on the island. And I think from different time zones. So while I think that Helena's more modern, I don't know why I get that feeling, probably because she's more morally conscious. She's having to battle dinos. But Nerva here is having to battle dinos and also get to grips with technological advancements of humankind with guns and that. 
something to one of my lieutenants. They are far more accurate I'm getting good. than any bow. I'm getting good. But like any weapon, they are only as effective as they are. Uh, Nerva in the animated series is voiced by Gerard Butler, says Neddy. So that's why. Oh, really? Gerard Butler? That's class. I need to watch it. Uh, chat, do we know when it comes out in the UK? I think it's on Amazon Prime. I refuse to watch just one episode. I think there's been six released, I think. Let me know. Let me know. You Americans always get stuff first. In the hands of the Black Guns, they are of no concern. In battle. In fact, next arc playthrough, I'm going to set it so it's a fucking month late for all the people that live in the NA. Yeah. And the rest of us here in UK, yeah, are going to get it straight away and i'll get like 17 views because the vast majority of my audience is american we've been able to bait the black thumbs into attacking a wave of durable but disposable beasts before descending upon them with our main force our attacks are concentrated while theirs are scattered that makes all the difference the black thumbs are destroyed black thumbs are the pirates their leader was defiant but his <clears throat> tribesmen did not wish to fight the inevitable. They offered us his head last evening. I suspect surrenders will be more frequent now. The Black Thumbs were the first, but they shall not be the last. What are these lightning things yeah, in the sky? I see it clearly. I didn't this see them. This is destiny. The gods have brought me here to bring order. Is it the 19th? 19th of April. 19th of April. Okay. Cool. 19th of April. To save these people from their own savagery, Janus pulled me across the bridge of time and space. Mars lent me his strength. Are they, are they and the now old I drops? shall create my own empire in their name. This expedition to White Sky Peak has been just splendid. White Sky Peak. Is that the top of the snowy mountain? Top? to bottom. The weather's been marvellous, I found excellent floral samples, and the local hunters had more woolly rhino horns than you could shake a stick at. I even managed to find volunteers for my latest experiment. It turns out that it was simply a matter of linguistics. Those who are wary of experimental potions are much more receptive to experimental food. Once my endothermic paste was He was making potions and then he turned them into Kalian soup, Lazarus chowder, fryer curry, something chilly, sweet vegetable cake. That's where they came from. Rechristened fryer curry, people were clamoring to test it. It has moderate nutritional value, so it's not technically a deception. It's just yeah. Like Rockwell is a bit That's saucy. All. Perfectly moral. Sadly, my Friar Curry trials cannot begin immediately, as the volunteers have a much more difficult journey to Rockwell Manor than I. After all, I couldn't very well carry every one of them on Archimedes. That's yes, the Argentavis name. could clutch one in his talons, but I've always found the practice to be barbaric. The rest of the Ark may be embroiled in feudal savagery, but a gentleman always maintains his class and dignity. At any rate, I must have my assistants renovate the guest compound. Naturally, I would never let strangers into the manor proper, but there's no oh, reason he's a their stay should not reflect my civilized standards. Rockwell is a bellend. Having readily available subjects has helped my experiments tremendously, even if their numbers dwindled over time. Not only was I able to curb the side effects of my Friar Curry's endothermic properties, but I managed to bring out an additional benefit of the mixture. Ah, he's in the ocean! Now, because he's got the curry. it also lowers the subject's metabolism, letting them go longer without needing food. Marvellous! I won't lie to you, see? See, when I first got the Kalian soup, I didn't read it properly, and I thought that it increased my uh, water consumption. I need to read things more. I didn't How use did them much because of that. A possibility. Why, with all I've learned from these experiments, I imagine that I could reverse the effects of the curry 
and create a concoction to aid survival in extreme heat as well. Kalian must soup! Find more volunteers post haste. I decided to seek out volunteers for my next experiment among the island's larger tribes. I thought that surely they would be willing to help after I patiently moderated so many of their frivolous disputes. Jesus, that's a... How I this is a village. Instead, they have yet another favor to ask. Apparently, there's a new tribe that's behaving rather aggressively, and no one can successfully negotiate with its leader. So naturally, they've turned to me. It's rather bothersome, but I can't touch their logic. If Sir Edmund Rockwell cannot reason with this Nerva fellow, then who can- Rockwell meets Nerva. I see. Yeah. It's coming together now. I have allowed the Legion to take a reprieve from war. At least for now. We need time to gather our strength and plan our road to conquest before we march again. Augustus did not unite the Empire by rushing into battle after all. Such things take time, and more importantly, information. As I write, my scouts are mapping out the surrounding lands and observing any tribes that may oppose us. I have no doubt they are not all like the Black Thumbs. One could so very well prove Black to be Black my Thumbs mark, gone Anthony. Now. Gone. And when I find him, I will be prepared. While a prudent general must take his time to plan, I realize that comfort breeds complacence. So as my scouts range across the beaches and jungles, I have made sure to lead our main force out on regular raids. Our targets have been weak. Mostly small villages or unsuspecting convoys, but they resist enough to keep my men's instincts sharp. Letting them keep That's their awesome. meager spoils of these exercises has helped morale as well. See, on PvP though, right, on like normal servers, is everybody just running around in tech gear and just like assault rifling people down? Or, like, can you shoot people off a dino? Or is it, is, is like PvP dino v dino? Or is it like <clears throat> guns versus guns? Because why would you take the effort to like go and get a really, really good dino if somebody can just like snipe you? Our actions have not gone unnoticed, however. My scouts say many tribes are avoiding our territory altogether now. Good. A fearsome reputation will serve the Legion well. Okay. I was told this escort mission would be dangerous, but I had not expected to fight a legitimate army. Fortunately, I was riding ahead of the main column and spotted them first. After signaling for the convoy to change course, I harassed the enemy from their flanks to draw their attention, then retreated in a different direction. Even that cost me. Many of Wu Zui's brother were injured, and some were killed. Previously, my enemies here fought wildly or scattered when attacked, but hmm. these men these had nuts. discipline. <laughs> the leader of the convoy was very grateful. Apparently, few survive an encounter with this new legion. I should be wary of them in it the future. It wouldn't be Nerva. It wouldn't be Nerva. Who could have imagined that a simple convoy would give the new Legion its first taste of adversity? Before today, the idea would seem absurd. They must have seen our approach. It is. Because just as we spotted our prey, we found our left flank beset upon by a pack of beasts. Though the creatures were smaller in size and number, they struck fast and struck together, and they never lingered. By the time we chased them off for oh, good, Neddy, the this convoy awesome. was long gone. Impossibly. I spotted but a single rider throughout it all. Who is she? If Mars has blessed me, does Minerva harry me? No. I was simply unprepared. I will not be again. It seems that some of our neighbors have grown weary of our raiding. Today I received an envoy from the Golden Arrows who proposed a lucrative trade agreement Who's called the between the now? two tribes. Who's this? With the caveat that we never encroach on the territory or convoys of the Golden Arrows or any of their allies. Is that what Mylan? I have Mylan's no interest called. in trade agreements, but I do know how to seize an opportunity. 
Maybe. So instead of accepting right away, I propose that we ratify the agreement with his tribe's leaders on a neutral site. I have planned long enough. I will it say, see, see with the music though, because obviously, um, for the whole playthrough, I'd been playing with the music off because I needed to be able to add my own things in to help with my storytelling stuff. But I'd seen so many people were like, Butch, you have to put the music on for the tech cave and the overseer. So that was kind of my first taste. Taster. Was it Gareth um, Coker? Is that it? Um, oh my God. Incredible. Incredible. I kind of want to play it all the way through again just so I can experience the music because I was, I was really worried that I was... You, you'll probably notice I used some of the wrong, I used some ARC songs, but I didn't know what they were for. And I was like, shit, if I keep using the ARC songs, what if I use the wrong song in a different area? And so we like, well, that's actually, you'll find that you only get that song when you're in the Southeast swamps. You don't get that when you're in the Northern Hemisphere. So I was very kind of cautious using the ARC songs. The new Legion to resume its march. News of my rather definitive response to the Arrow's proposal has spread quickly, but few seem keen to act on it. Who can blame them? Without their leaders, the Arrows quickly folded, and the new Legion grew significantly in power practically overnight. The other tribes only managed to interrupt their cowering long enough to send another envoy. A man named Edmund Rockwell. Oh! Given the results of the last one I received, Edmund Jones didn't believe it, but apparently this man is special. The other tribes seem to respect him as a neutral party, an expert on the island. We shall see. So Rockwell doesn't have a tribe. He's well, a solo YOLO. I found the report on Mr. Nerva to be rather exaggerated. And as an Englishman, England. one might imagine that I'd view Roman leadership with some disdain. Yet, in my experience, I found Mr. Nerva to be both honest and intellectually engaging. Wait, of course they're In getting fact, on. After a of lengthy course. conversation, I dare say that Mr. Nerva has the right of it when it comes to this island's politics. Their supply drops. As the Romans created Pax Romana, perhaps this new legion will create Pax Arkham. What, uh, what else was different between Evolved and Ascended? Were there any other big changes? No Obviously the supply drops are there, they're different, but was there anything else? I did not expect much from Edmund Rockwell, but he has surprised me. He has a curious way of speaking, but he clearly possesses a razor-sharp intellect and a wide breadth of knowledge. Though we have only met for half a day, I gained invaluable information about this island, which is apparently called... Hey, the Lonzy, what's going on, Lonzy? How you doing? I shall have to send a scout to pinpoint where Rockwell lives. Oh, In addition to his changed. expertise on the Ark, he is known to create elixirs that have extraordinary effects. It K would Kalian behoove soup. me to keep those out of my enemy's hands. Quick question. Now, this is probably quite a loaded question. And I would like everybody to behave in chat when I ask it. I see that there's um, a conflict in some of my comments and in ARK in general. Which game is considered better? Ark Survival Evolved or Ark Survival Ascended? Well, perhaps the question should be, is Ark Survival Ascended a better version of the island in Ark Survival Evolved? Because I see so many mixed things and I'm not sure. ASC, ASA, ASC? ASC, ASA. Tell you what I'll do is I'm going to run a poll. Okay, while we listen Rockwell's to this. Rockwell's recommendation. I've headed south to start in an in-depth study of the island's marine life, with the help of a tribe called the Painted Sharks. Because the ecosystem of the ocean that surrounds the island is separate from the ecosystem on the mainland, correlating patterns between them might help me isolate and understand this island's scientific abnormalities. There you go, chat. Get vote. Get voting. Also, after freezing my ass off for so long. I could really use an extended stay on a tropical island. I heard that um, Neddy had a personal request to film this bit right here. He delegated the workload to everybody else, but Neddy did that one himself. Tropical island. Marine biology was never my strongest field, but I do love the ocean. If nothing else, it should be beautiful there. 
It the is fun to go. There's no light shafts though like in this. I'm the bloody queen since I showed them Rockwell's letter of recommendation. I don't think I've eaten better in my entire time on the island. Not that yeah. it's a high bar. I'm a horrible cook. Oh, and they've been of tremendous help with my research. Chat, should I be scared to type ARC into Reddit? If you know what I mean. There's a particular rule. I think it's number 34. Of course. So far, my estimates of the predator-prey balance are consistent with the ecosystems <laughs> Ooh, on the mainland. Wow, look at that. That's an awesome shot, but it's also shit. And, and they are extremely yes? aggressive. Wait, 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 wait. With the dinos? It's a side effect of having limited prey. Chat, do you see how, I, how hard I'm working to try and do this full time? Do you think I'm going to do that on stream? Still no answers as to why the Megalodons are so territorial, but I was privy to something even more extraordinary. Megalodon oh. mating behavior. No one's ever witnessed great whites rooting around back home, so that alone is monumental. But I got something even better. <laughs> Wait, with the dinos? Wait. You mean like people and dinos? You mean like... Uh, a dodo and a and a giga i know what could possibly top watching megalodons have a naughty right tracking the female hey I siri set a reminder for later for almost the full gestation period and get this it only lasts one week one week no wonder the population is so high These boosted rates how are you having a go at me for boosted rates when there's already boost luck? Her for almost the full gestation period. And get this, it only lasts one week. One week just One week! No wonder the population is so high. These are spitting out pups 44 times the rate of Aussie Great Whites. I should compare how they behave in captivity. So, She's using mods. in addition to all of the oddities I found with the wild megalodons, here's the real cherry on top. I think we should unsubscribe from Helena. She's using boosted rates. Training, and they're more obedient than the family dog. Now, I've heard of sharks getting very rudimentary training over a year or so, but not to this extent. That would just Certainly say fucking not so hell. Easily. <laughs> sharks aren't mammals or even avians. They're fish. They rely more on instinct. Or to put it simply, they're not very smart. You shouldn't Dumb be fish. able to ride one like a jet ski. I'm trying to keep an open mind like Rockwell suggested, but... This just feels wrong. See, Helena what? is like, oh, it feels it feels so wrong to to be taming these dinos. We should let them be free. No. And then Rockwell's like, mutations. Right, chat, you have 30 seconds left to vote. Vote right now because this is the unequivocal correct. Which is better, Ark Survival Ascended or Ark Survival Evolved? If you haven't voted, get noted, voting now. Right now, Ark Ascended is winning. You go. Come on. You're 30 seconds. After this one. Press the wrong button. This seals it. Just when I thought I'd made some sense of the notes I took while visiting the painted sharks, I spotted the nail in the proverbial coffin. Ruse. A whole herd of giant ruse were just hopping around the countryside like they'd always been there. As much as I love Roos, they just shouldn't be here. Period. They evolved in Oz, and Oz only 60 million years after the dinosaurs were extinct, among a bevy of other marsupials. If I True! Know so, only Australia in the modern time was taken into whatever this island is. Troops, it is official. Ark Survival Ascended is the best arc. Just saying it's also the arc that I have a playthrough on. <laughs> Not saying it had anything to do with it. Any genius, it's this one, and Procoptodon should not exist here. This island isn't an ecosystem, it's a zoo. How can these tribal leaders be so short-sighted? Yes, the members of their respective tribes who volunteered for my Battle Tartare and Shadow Stake Sauté experiments I never used the have been experiencing Tartar. prolonged withdrawal episodes. But can't they see that the benefits outweigh the cost? Wait, can you get addicted to this stuff? I create mixtures that can bring out superhuman strength, speed, and coordination in ordinary men, and they can only focus on the negatives. Simple-minded, a lot of them. 
They've even banned their members from partaking in my experiments now. Ridiculous. I'll not let them stand in the way of human progress. They may not understand the importance of my work, but surely my assistants do. I've decided to take a brief vacation from the laboratory. Well, I wait, 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 wait. Do you, guys, do, you, do you guys remember there was a um there was a an explorer note I found? Is it this one where we talked about spelunking and I, and I didn't know what spelunking was? Oh, that was funny. I'm, I'm going to be excited when I hear that one. I said that I've decided to, but the whole thing was my sister Isabel's idea. She noticed that I'd been quite ruffled lately and suggested that I take a bit of time to myself before rushing headlong into my next experiment. Such an observant young woman, that Isabel. She's somewhat Isabel. lacking as a chemist, but Who's she Isabel? understands my moods almost better than I do. I dare say that an old-fashioned adventure will do me some good. Nothing like some rigorous recreation to clear the mind. Oh, Jesus. Perhaps I'll go spelunking. Oh, yes, the spelunking! Because he, I... he was talking about, he was been stressed, and he was talking about going to a cave. So I thought he was going to go in the cave, and then he was like spelunking, and I was like, oh my god. No, just the place for it. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. When I chose that remote northern cave as the site of my spectacular spelunking sojourn, I'd never imagined that I'd find such wonders within. Granted, I don't know what Skylord the specific cave. wonder does exactly. Skylord. But it's fascinating to examine. It's like nothing I've ever seen. So this was the first artifact that they found. I don't even recognize the materials that it's composed of. And it's constantly pulsing with some sort of latent energy. What is it? Is it unique or... Who are... the fuck put the artifacts there? Is this aliens? There are similar artifacts just waiting to be discovered beneath this island's surface. This my how invigorating. Isabel was right. I don't think we find this that out exactly in um, what I needed. In uh, islands, I feel like maybe. A man again. He's like, oh yes, belonging. I feel he was so correct. good. The small podium at the base of the obelisk Ooh. is definitely responding to the artifact's proximity, and vice versa. I yep. Honestly, I feel foolish for not attending this sooner. The stylistic similarities between the artifact and the obelisks floating above same, the island same, same so metal. obvious to me now. Clearly, they were created within the same culture and era. Aliens. Bizarrely, while both the artifact and obelisks oh, are Oh, that, that gives me the willies. It took me a while to figure out what that was then. We're going down the side of an obelisk, aren't we? Condition. There are no other signs of this mysterious civilization. How could that be? What kind of mad society would gallivant about some remote island, building towering structures and stuffing knickknacks into caves before Fucking vanishing without Hunger a Hunger Games. I don't understand it, but it's certainly it, it, This is like un Hunger Games. Well, I think I've gotten as far in my studies of the obelisks as my archaeological expertise will take me. A shame, really. This has been such a joyous little diversion that I hate to see it end. Ah, oh, Rockwell, you old twit. You've forgotten the origins of this little excursion. What? Spelunking. Hey! Did you yourself not hypothesize Spelunking. that there may be more artifacts hidden elsewhere on this island? Yes. Ten. Surely you can't give up before confirming that. No, certainly not. Nor can I be expected to scour the Ark's caverns alone. Perhaps someone can spelunk in my stead. Better yet, perhaps someone has already spelunked. Am I? This guy likes his spelunking. Um, chat, I'm going to go grab a drink. Give me literally three seconds, okay? Let me... Uh, actually, I'm going to leave you with a quiz. Um, let me... I'm going to test you on Dino the Dino Slayer lore, all right? Um, oh, how do I do this? Start Q&A. Answer viewer questions live. Now, sod that. Okay, no, we're not going to do a quiz. Instead, I'm going to do another poll. And... What's... Uh, who's... <laughs> uh, 
Anybody that's just coming in is going to be like, what's going on? All right, chat. I'm literally going to be two minutes. Going to go for a quick piss. And then I'll be back, okay? Two secs. Not bad. The results are in. We have a lot of spelunkers. A lot of spelunkers, you dirty bastards. Right, let's keep going. Mercenary now? I had not given it much thought until I was actually called one. I don't like the title. Mercenaries fight for riches, but I'm just fighting for what I need to survive. That's different, isn't it? Welcome back, Spelunker. When I thought back home, I knew who and what I was fighting for. I knew who my enemies were. Here, I cannot tell. I'm trying to be honorable by defending Well, you can people, build on top of rocks? Them. But how can I be certain? I cannot dwell on it. To survive, I must fight on. To return home, I must fight on. The volcano looks so different, doesn't it? I've started so to different. larger creatures. The speed of my light cavalry was beneficial, but I realized that it was not enough. A hundred swift strikes mean nothing. If there is no strength behind them to survive enemies like the new legion i must be able to strike with power i began with the ones that look like larger raptors but with horns on their Ka um carnos they balance strength and speed well and will serve well as the core of my forces tony we he was our when first I one wasn't tony raptors i will add some of the giants maybe then i'll finally have the strength to find a way home Wait, you can go home? I'm living on an island. Worse, a cursed island. When I managed to tame a great spined lizard and a giant raptor, I left the jungle to find a way out of these treacherous lands. But I soon found myself traveling in circles. Worse still, I'm told that a magical barrier prevents ships from sailing too far from the shore. And oh! birds from flying too high to So there's, the um, there's a, uh... An actual law reason for the um for the for the the barrier being there. It's not just like a gameplay thing. I like that. I rate it. They've thought about this, haven't they? The it devs. Was never a matter what was the what, the what were the devs of this no game again? Path home at all. Wind card or something? Seems to sense my unease. These days, I often wake up to find him nestled beside me. At least I'm oh. not trapped here alone. I, I, is that the birth of the, the rule 34? I laughed for the first time in weeks today. A man Wild card, my bad, my bad. sought to hire me, but he didn't call me by my name. What the fuck is a that thing to on the right? Me, but he didn't call me by my name. A net? He called me. They the don't have that in Ascended. The, jungle. I could not keep a the Beast Queen. There was a, uh, the, the Groot lady, I am Groot lady in, in the hologram. Um, she mentioned something about the Beast Queen in the cinematic. She's Mylan's the... <sighs> Straight face. I suppose I understand this title. Since I failed my expedition... I have staked out a small swath of land to live on more permanently, and the locals know it as my pack's hunting ground. Still, I'm hardly a queen. My castle is a little more than a shack. I'd rather be shack, called shack. a queen yeah. than a mercenary, though, so I may as well embrace it. it took me so long to make the shack shack. I wonder shack. what father would think of me now. Would he be proud of me when I march off to battle? I know the Edricorius it is, yep. 
That's why he trained me in secret. Would he accept the Beast Queen instead? Mother wouldn't approve. The other villagers were too desperate to care about my gender when I joined the fight against the turbans. But Mother never forgave me. She wouldn't even look at me now. Should I mind? Those were Mayin's parents from Mayin's life. And sometimes, I wonder if that life was even real. Maybe I was How did they get here? That's what I want to know. How did they get here? Why? I finally Why? found a beast I cannot command. No. To call him a beast is not enough. He is a demon. I was stalking the a pair of giant raptors, waiting for an opportunity to is bring them the into my Is that the Giga or the character he tore through the tree line to steal their kill. He dwarfed even the giant raptors in size. And in theory, he surely has no equal in this world. When his foes bit at him, his eyes glowed with hatred. Fuck me. Oh my days, fear. that's huge. I've never seen such terror. Even Is it the I same size as, as the Karacha, Karacha one? If I Volcano am one. Queen, then he is the Demon King. The Demon King's the Giga. Not too long ago, I thought this place was a far off utopia where I could study all the world's lost wonders. Now so that how, I'm certain but, but, it's how not did natural Helena, at all, how did Helena get say, here? It's do we do we get any info on how Helena got in? Hey, listen, troops. Thank you again for being here. This is insane to me. I'm. I'm this is un unbelievable. Thank you all so much for being here. I, I cannot tell you how incredible and crazy and it's it's all insane. So thank you so much. Please consider hitting the like button, um, subscribing if you're not. I'm kind of half looking at chat, half not. Can we just say a big love to the mods in chat right now? They have been insane with all of these spoiler deleting. So. Big up the big up the mods. I appreciate you all. Thank you, mods. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Just a lot of luster. Interference from mankind hasn't helped. To Most tribes have learned to live in harmony things with weren't in ASC. The island, but some aren't content with double mods. W One mods. is even trying to conquer all the others. And natural or not, this ecosystem wouldn't be any better off if it's burned down in some great war. The sunrises are still beautiful, though. Light shafts. At least nothing can change that. Of all Light the shafts. abnormalities that I've observed, the tame megalodons stick out to me. It was almost like they were stray dogs who were re-socialized, as though they had a genetic history of human obedience. Most of my observations have been in the wild, but I think I may learn a thing or two if I observe domesticated creatures more closely. I need to study their diets, their mating patterns, how they socialize with other species, all that. Rumor has it that there's some woman that's tamed a whole mess of them all by herself. My, my, so Maylin, my, my, Maylin, the beast queen Mal of the Lee, Maylin, Layman Lee. Maybe she'll have some useful insights. I li I'd like they, them to get together. A woman named Helena arrived at my camp yesterday. They've just met. So not to hire me. She said that she was a scholar studying the creatures on this island. How did she get and there? That she wanted to observe my beasts. I turned her away at first, not trusting her intentions. How could I? What mad fool would bother with scholarly pursuits in a place like this? If it wasn't for this video that Neddy's made, I would never have bothered to go through and read all of the Explorer notes. This is insane. Question though, this is in order, right? How on earth do they, did Neddy and that know that what was Explorer note number one, Explorer note number two sort of things? Were they numbered and I just missed that? Yet she persisted and in time, I was convinced of her honesty. I don't know if I made the right decision. Helena is constantly asking strange questions. Lee may in, okay. Why does she need to the know so much about my beast's feces? Oh, in the behavior? menu. What a bizarre person. Okay, menu. I suppose it was a bit naive of me to think that someone with the moniker of Beast Queen would roll out the red carpet. I guess I got used to all the friendly treatment that being an associate of Rockwell's earned me. She did let me stay at least, and she hasn't instructed her dinosaurs to kill me yet, so that's a positive. Not that she'd really need the dinosaurs. If that She's glare got many. gets any more intense, I'll probably just burst into flames on the spot. Struth. I hope she eases up. Sifting through raptor excrement with someone watching is harder than you might think. There's nothing special about the diets of these tamed creatures when compared to their wild counterparts. 
Part of that is the Beast Queen's doing, as she takes them on regular hunting excursions for training purposes. Curiously, they never have to range too far. There is an abundance of prey nearby, despite the size of her pack. That this is held true regardless of her domesticated creature's remarkable birth and growth rates makes it even more unusual. Oh, wait, 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 chat, 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 chat. Is this what the Ark series is? The fucking words, the animated series. Is that based on all of this or is it something different? Get her name, Li Mei Yin. She's gotten a little less glary too. In hindsight, maybe starting by studying her animal's feces just gave her the wrong impression. No, yes, no, yes. The most no, interesting yes. thing that I've observed about Mei Yin's animals has been what they don't do. They never fight. Among creatures that have been domesticated for generations like Same cats but and different. dogs, that's normal. But there's a reason zoos keep their animals in separate enclosures. Certain instincts are hard to curb. Different. And there should definitely Tweet. be more disputes no, yes. among such a diverse group. Mei Yin has even integrated a herd of herbivores into her army, Trikes. as their thick hinds have proven resistant to fire and explosives. Yet despite being surrounded oh. by carnivores, they remain untouched. It doesn't make sense. That's not to take anything away from Mei Yin. She works hard to treat and train her animals well. She's not bad company either. At least when she's not mute and I don't go full biologist. Sometimes it felt like speaking a new language. But it's been kind of refreshing. <laughs> To my in. So is it is it um like who's the main character? Is like Helena the main character or something? Arrived. I was constantly glancing in her direction, wondering just what she was scribbling in that thick book of hers. Now, I hardly notice her unless we're speaking. The questions haven't stopped, but thankfully, they aren't always about things like animal feces. Helena is, yeah. Sometimes All of we them. just talk about something simple, like cooking. Neither of us are very good at it, but together... Hey, you know what we need to do, chat? You know what we need to do? I would love to get the channel so big that we would have the power to have Dino the Dino Slayer slipped in as a little cameo somewhere. Imagine the last season, whenever that is, the last one. Dino the Dino Slayer just appears. Like maybe just pops up for a second and is like he's like this. Dino Dino <laughs> Oh me Oh my knees Chat, we're gonna do that, eh? One day. Oh my We've fucking managed knees. to make a few things that tasted better than plain meat. Yet, before long, my territory will be silent once more. Helena says she has to move on, and war is brewing in the south. Someone will need my sword very soon. Dino will. <laughs> it seems I was not the only one who was skeptical of Rockwell's ability to curb my ambitions. The nearby painted sharks mustered up the courage to harass several of our coastal fortresses, but in doing so, they confirmed their nature. During their raids, they only attacked from the air and sea. They patently refused to set foot on land. I thought these pirates if were If the sharks extinct. are at home in the ocean, then I will pull our coastal forces back and attack their outposts on the mainland. Once their island fortress is cut off from the support and supplies, I can whittle it down to rubble at my leisure. The war in the south is not an ordinary one. <laughs> According to the member of the painted sharks that arrived to hire me. Oh my god. We need to get some slightly questionable Dino fan art. That's what we need. Um <laughs> that would be ideal. Imagine. <laughs> some just like still suitable for work, but just like slightly saucy Dino. <laughs> Just re like with a really, really thick bunder. Hey, if anybody wants to do that, join the Discord troops. Links in the description. Join the Discord. We do have a fan art section if you guys want to create anything from the channel. I should run a competition, shouldn't I? I have grown stronger too. And the sharks were clearly in desperate straits. 
I could not turn them away. As I waited for war, I recalled a dream I had many months ago. I still don't believe in fate. But maybe, <laughs> this Dino moment, goes spelunking. <laughs> maybe I can actually Again, be suitable for work, just slightly promiscuous. Oh, thank you so much, troops. Join in, jump into the Discord there. Most of their martial strength lies at sea. On land, they lack the unit with the ferocity of a true vanguard. Without that, they could merely withstand they the can throw sea, rocks. not break it. Oh. That changed when my beast crashed into the legion's rear like a great wave. I can wow. still hear the cheers as the legion fled. I can feel the echo of the emotions that swelled in my chest. If I could return home, I imagine that is what I would feel like. I won't dare forget it. The incident with the convoy was no fluke. No, I didn't take a spine The writer has returned. And this time he had plenty of warning. Reports of some beast queen joining forces with the sharks reached my ears days before the siege. The ranks have swelled since the convoy, but there is no doubt it is her. Not only did she help break the siege, but for the first time in his existence, the new legion is in full retreat. This cannot continue. Oh. I will not allow it. Nervous getting I fucked. I will conquer the sharks, as I will conquer the entire Ark. So, but first, oh, uh, so May Lin's tribe is the sharks. I must destroy the so called queen. Li Mei Yin, the beast queen of the jungle. No, that is the name of my foe. Mei Yin, the name that Sorry. I already grown Mei Yin, of, but soon I will never hear it again. No, May, 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 May Yin has a tribe of dinos, but not a tribe of people. But she has Helena. How many people, statistically, do you need for it to become a tribe? Like, when does it become solo Yoloer, devilish duo, three musketeers, and then is a tribe more than that? So I don't have a tribe. Turns out Ten, she is a four, mercenary, not beholden to any tribe. Two point five including the painted sharks. So, as satisfying as it may be, I need not actually defeat her. I must simply divorce her from her employers. And I know exactly how to do it. The seeds of my victory are already planted. That's a bit sus. Sometimes I fear I have grown fangs or horns without noticing. What else can explain the way others look at me? In battle, the sharks cheer me, but afterwards, we rarely speak. I this camp separately, doing. and only am summoned when it's time to discuss strategy. I do not understand. I'm outcast. Trust is rare on this island, I know that. But have I not bled in their defense? Have my beasts not died fighting their battles? Perhaps it's just the strain of war. We're in Legion territory now, taking the battle to them. Soon the war will be won. Surely then the sharks will not fear me. The Beast Queen is no longer a concern. Oh. It was a simple matter, really. Okay. A small team of Legionnaires planted explosives at the sharks' camp. Hey, in I the never dead used the C4 night, chat. Never. I need to see that. Untouched. Predictably, the explosions drew the Beast Queen's attention, but the Sharks mistook her advance for an enemy attack. After that, it was only a matter of time before they parted ways. With that barbarian removed from the conflict, this land war will end shortly. We've already pushed the Sharks out of Legion territory. Soon, we will face them where they are strongest. His voice the actors are awesome. Sea. When anger rises, think of the consequences. I know this by heart, yet I cannot help but seethe with fury. Even Wu Zui is keeping his distance. Last night, I awoke to the sound of thunder coming from the shark's main camp. I rushed to their aid, but blinded by the night and consumed with panic, they attacked my pack. Oh, by the shit. time order was restored, we had both sustained losses. 
Clearly, this was the work of the enemy. Wait, people fight with those little lizards? Blame me for the confusion. Some even claim I torched their camp. How dare they question my honor after all I've done? Cowards! They have no right! So Nerva's been like really sneaky with everything. That's quite clever. I would have thought it was a military general. He would have always been like... Balls deep. Kind of strong. Fight him. But he's been tactical there. Moss chops can kill Rexes? How? I should have foreseen this. Trudons are deadly though. Right aside, those audacious sharks could not. At their behest, I began a long trek back to my own territory this morning. They say that they will finish the war without me. Doubtful. Without my pack at the van, the new legion will surely smash them to pieces. But what can I do? I cannot Watch protect them OP? if they do not 40K want my protection. Health? Will the legion come for me afterwards? I cannot say. But if they do, I know that I will receive no aid. All right, all right, all right. Another difficult question to ask you all. I feel like this is a loaded question. What is the best dinosaur in the game? And I'm not going to define best, but what do you think is the best dinosaur in the game? Go. Go, I go, go. I rely on my own strength. And right now, I fear it insufficient. I need to become stronger. I need the Demon King. There's a lot of dodos there. Going over my notes from Mei Yin's camp. I've concluded that the animals on this island are not only used to humans, but used to captivity. Even with their accelerated growth rates, their behavior indicates that they have been regularly domesticated for decades at least. Otherwise, they'd never obey the whims of mankind so easily. With that in mind, I believe that my theory about this island being curated is back in play. In fact- It's a fucking Petri dish, isn't it? This is, this is not a natural island, it's man-made for the Hunger Games. People planted Helena and Rockwell. That's why there's a volcano in the middle of the map as well. But there must be a way for people to move from one world to another. Because there's other maps, right? So there has to be a law way and a law reason. Like, how do they get transported and why? It's the Hunger Games TV show, but with dinosaurs. In fact, it's possible that not only are animal populations being controlled, but that the animals themselves are genetically modified. Mutated. However, before I bring this to Rockwell, there's one more rumor that I want to confirm. <laughs> This is the smoking gun. It has to be. I simply can't be convinced that this place is natural after finding an island populated entirely by carnivores. Even Carno if they fed off each other. Oh, chat. What happened in Carno Island? Can you remember? Probably the saddest. Yeah, definitely the most. Oh, now we can't talk about it. I'm not ready to talk about it. Obviously, given that carnivore meat is much more likely to carry harmful parasites than herbivore meat, the landmass is so small and their population is so dense that they could never maintain it. Yet there it is, hidden away off the northeast coast of the island. Someone would have to put them there on purpose. There's no way Guys, that no, Rockwell can deny it. It's too my soon. We can't now. talk about it. As I can't expected, talk about it. Rockwell couldn't deny my theory, but I can't say that I have his endorsement either. By the way, he whoever said the Baryonyx was the best I know is correct. Thank you very much. He didn't seem terribly engrossed in the subject, frankly. Something else seems to have captured his attention as of late. The island's obelisk. Apparently, Rockwell stumbled upon a way to interact the with the towering monuments while spelunking. Of all things, I guess he felt the need to scratch that old intrepid explorer itch of his. It's pretty impressive considering his age. Now that I think about uh, it, on the top. obelisk could be linked to my own findings. 100%. Their nature has always been a mystery, 
and Rockwell made some intriguing observations. I should follow up. After many days of scouring the island upon Archimedes... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. This one here... That... Is that Devourer? That one... What's... What the fuck's that? That is Artifact of the... Uh, it's red. And I don't know what the jellyfish looking one is. I think that's Devourer. And many more fruitless conversations with the witless savage sods that seem to make up most of this island's population. Hey, listen, Frodo's fantastic. Diego Senor was fantastic. But there has to be a best. And for me, the Barry carried. The Barry carried all the way through. The Barry is the best dinosaur. It's versatile, it's strong, it's sleek. It's not too fast, not too slow. It's not too tanky, not too attacky. It has everything that you could possibly need. Plus it spins. I have finally found the Spelunkers I need. A tribe to the northwest called the Iron Brotherhood has apparently found three artifacts themselves. Metal. And it's clear that said relics share an origin with my own. In exchange for my artifact, the Brotherhood Packed. agrees to report to the any findings to me Artifact straight to the Devourer and whatever that one is. Their search. Immune. What stupendously good fortune. Now, I can return to my alchemical studies with renewed vigour while they crawl through the island's caverns in my stead. Brilliant. The first, first round one. of trials for my new Lazarus Chowder have gone marvellously. That's but a cage. I found it hard to maintain my enthusiasm. After all, <laughs> I'll never get... Gallimus the best. Truly definitive results with only Mesopithecus subjects. It's quite frustrating. Even so, I see now that Isabel was right. Having my assistants take part in the trials would be asking too much of them, and they're too valuable to risk so frivolously. Green hair, if is I that not Ross Clark? subjects from the nearby tribes. He's got green in his have thumbnails. have to make do with trials on apes and monkeys. Perhaps it is finally time to capture some Gigantopithecus. Ah, oh, monkey! I admit, there are times when it is useful to live among simpletons. For example, I was able to trade several gallons of my Lazarus chowder to a group of hunters a green in exchange afro. for an entire contingent of tamed Gigantopithecus. I never could tame never the Gigantopithecus. And they whether it had been tested on humans yet. Well, I suppose if they return with another batch of apes, then I'll Wait, know you that can Lazarus chowder doesn't cause asphyxiation, won't I? It's not exactly a conclusive scientific trial, but I suppose it will serve. Unfortunately, all these primitive primates have given Rockwell Manor quite the pungent odour. Isabel said she's working on some sort of air freshener, but I hope she makes haste. Air freshener? What? I am perplexed. Even with an expanded number of test subjects, I just can't find the passion that I once had for my research! I truly thought that my recent adventure had lit a fire in my belly, but I constantly find myself losing focus. <sighs> Confound it all! Perhaps said adventure itself is the problem. Thinking about it... That there is the location of Artifact of the Skylord. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. I'm always eager to discuss I know the that. obelisks and the artifacts I've found with my assistants, even when I'm not in the mood for research. There is a certain alert. Chat, who would win in a 1v1, me or Raz Clark? Go. To them that I cannot describe. You've seen Something my shots with the crossbow. To drift in their direction. Like I guarantee I've played more Valorant than Raz. The pull of a strong tide. But it could simply be a passing fancy. I must give myself more time. I was ever so glad to see Miss Walker again. Mods ban anybody that says my Raz. Since are clever in their own right. But dear Helena is still the only person that I feel comfortable diving into my All right, chat. With. Okay, another question. I fear Who that I may have kept... would win in a fight between... Me and Neddy. Seems like Neddy spends more time making videos than playing. Kept her from getting a word in edgewise, though. Once I got going on the obelisks, why... 
I just couldn't contain my Medi enthusiasm. Oh, for fuck's sake. My word. I really have become quite enamoured with the subject, haven't I? Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Well, that settles it. After this next set of trials, I shall go check on the Iron Brotherhood's progress. So, um, Perhaps Rockwell's I can becoming Miss Walker to join me. Rockwell's becoming more um, obsessed with the real obelisks. Scientific expedition out of it. Though I've been received no by the Iron you. Brotherhood, they didn't seem very pleased to see me, especially when I mentioned Rockwell. That's a first. Add that to the rather deserted, gloomy state of their compound, and I'm starting to feel a bit apprehensive. Their leader can't return from his hunting expedition soon enough. All I've confirmed so far is that yes, they gathered all of the artifacts. Broodmother trophy, right there. Broodmother. Oh, there we go. Neddy's here. Yeah. Who? No, nah, most people said Neddy. Fuck. Um, who else is famous arc person? Mister Miola. Who would one win in a one v one? Me or Mister Miola? I, you guys are under underestimating my FPS ness. You are. You've only seen me play Ark. You ain't seen me in them silver Valorant nob no nobbies. <clears throat> Carry on. Facts Rockwell sought, and yes, the artifacts were able to activate one of the obelisks. You'd think they'd be celebrating such a monumental discovery, but it's just kill as far as the eye can see. Edwin, Syntax, would, would I beat Syntax? Okay, yeah, shit. You guys don't have much faith in me. Glancing at the artifact. I'm trusting I understand you. One day, one day, I'll be playing multiplayer with others. And I will 1v1 them. And you will, you will look back at this time and think, Butch, I underestimated you. And I'll be like, it's fine. It's fine. I get it. Trust me. You think that just because I do the narration stuff, yeah? You think just because there's emotional music that I can't fight? Trust me. Trust me. All it does is remind <sighs> him of the tribesman who died seizing it from that giant Syntax spider. Syntax is probably the oldest arc YouTuber in existence. Slow reflexes if he's old. 17,000 hours. 17,000 hours of making bad habits. That's all I'm saying. I see things in a different way. Different gravy. Really useless, that was my nickname though? in high school. Different gravy. The facts that activated the obelisk as looking similar to it. So I headed to the nearest obelisk to see if I could get a response. No luck. Maybe it activates something else? Of course. The platform is in the cave. It's a long shot, but it's the only thing I can think of that's similar to the obelisk. Definitely worth a try. So Helena figured it out. Unbelievable! The artifacts perfectly fit one of the slots in the platform's pedestal. How did I not notice that right away? I really Ooh. am a dipstick. So if this key it's getting interesting now, chat. It is, it's getting interesting now. By activating one of the obelisks, then it follows. You know what I should do for a video? I should reach out to all of the big art creators and say, "1v1 me," and I will go and I'll 1v1. Every single one of them. And we'll find out who would win. Yeah. Okay, we need to round up the troops. I'm talking an arena. Same loadout. Same weapons. And I'll 1v1 them. I will do that before I play multiplayer. Okay, I need to I need to investigate who is the top ten arc YouTubers and one v one them all, and I'll fucking show you all. That the other two keys can You're be underestimating by me. the other two obelisks. If the other obelisks work the way that the first one did, that means I have to find a whole mess of artifacts first, and I don't think I can do that alone. So Helene is teaming After up with Mei Lin. Sharks last foothold on the mainland. This war has turned into one of attrition. While I construct a proper fleet, Neddy, you would one v one me, won't, wouldn't you? You won't. The sharks resort. 
Dashi, thank you for the super chat. 1v1 me, little bro. Don't call me little bro. Losses will continue to dwindle. And my flyers will continue to harass there we the go. main compound. There's one. Ned Neddy confirmed. Neddy confirmed. Stage are Let me just work on the other their nine. Their spirits will be broken. And their storehouses empty. In the meantime, I've been investigating this island's potential for naval warfare. Some sea creatures can carry a small ballistic Holy platform. Holy shit. It's a plesiosaur. Making them a curious sort of warship. I'm they interested to see how they'll fare. Hopefully the sharks can offer a skirmish or two before their will breaks completely. <laughs> Fusey's just called it a clout speed run. <laughs> I've been exposed. Do a building challenge versus Aaron Longstaff, says Songbird. Is who's Aaron? Is he meant who I've not seen any of his. Is he meant to be a good builder? Day shall live forever in the annals of history. Today I raise the new Legion flag above the painted shark's battered fortress. And in that moment, my empire was truly born. In that moment, the new Legion became the dominant power on this island. With that in mind. I've given my troops three days' respite to celebrate our victory, though I shall not take part. My work is never done, and I mustn't lose sight of my true goals. Only when I have brought this island into a new age shall I be content. Only then shall I rest. Wait, so Helena's kind of figuring out a way that she's going to leave the island, but Nerva is content on, like, dominating... The island. Aaron is OG for building. Is he good? Captain Fat Dog. I know him. I think I spoke to him on Twitter. Or I replied in one of his comments or something. I recognise him. <clears throat> Gaming. Okay, right. So, if... who Who is... Right, okay. Hear me out. Neddy is like the law go goated. Goated in law and the movies, and the cinema, and basically driving the game forward. That's Neddy. It sounds like Longstaff, Mr. Longstaff, is the goated for building. Who is regarded as the goated for um, PvP? The latest Broth of Enlightenment trials have concluded, and as expected, I am disappointed. Human trials... Results. Though the primates I tested it on showed increased aptitude for learning, I do not believe any of them have truly ascended to a higher level of intelligence. Well, bugger the little blight, as I say. My assistants have almost- A lot of Kishko. I'm not gonna lie, I've never heard of... I've never heard of them. Neddy, Law God, Longstaff, Builder, Kishko, PvP. Oh my days, Manvo with the $10. Does this mean that you're going to be hosting your own server so we can join and play with you now that you've beat it? I don't have time to play games for pleasure anymore. Um, so not to play with me, I, I am thinking about maybe an Ark server. However, they're very difficult to set up. So maybe, who knows? Right, so Kishko PvP champion. Um, Raz news champion. Aaron Longstaff is in the chat. Aaron, 1v1 me. 1v1 me. Apparently, I'm not going to beat any Ark tuber. What's going on, Aaron? How you doing? Welcome on in, dude. I literally just finished watching your playthrough and joined just... You watched my playthrough? Oh, shit. Let's go. Um, I won't lie, Aaron. I've not seen any of your videos because I've not watched any Ark at all. So, I have no idea who anybody is, but I'm just trying to get to grips of, like, who's good at the game. I want to prove my worth and 1v1 all of the big tubers. I got Neddy in here. So, what makes... Aaron, don't you answer this because you're biased. Chat, what makes Aaron so good at building? And Kishko. I've never heard of Kishko. So, could I 1v1 him? Uh, I could, I reckon. And then, Raz... So, Raz is the news guy. Wait, I could have a build-off with Aaron. I could have a news-off with Raz Clark. Where we both have to host. We both have to review a community crunch. And whoever does it better 
takes the crown of the News King. A build off, a PvP, -er, a newscasting one. Um, what's Syntac? What's he the best at? Neddy, what can I do with Neddy? I could do a voiceover for the uh, for the writing off. Yes, me and Neddy could go at some explorer notes, and who can make the most like dramatic one? Just finished preparing my supplies for my next expedition, and I have drafted a letter to send to the Iron Brotherhood ahead of my Mouse departure. Tank, thank you so much for the two. Soon enough, I'll have forgotten all about the. Pardon the interruption. It seems that I have a guest. Hold up. I'm preparing my supplies for my next expedition. Where's he off to now? I've drafted a letter to send to the Iron Brotherhood ahead of my departure. Soon enough, I'll have forgotten all about the... Pardon the interruption. Isabella. It seems that I have a guest. <gasps> now, just what is Mr. Nerva doing here? Nerva. I suppose I'll find out. All right. Syntax is the breeding goat. That sounds a little sus to me. Epic at breeding, okay. Yep, Syntax builds and breeds, breeding. Mass breeding, max stats, fighting. Okay. Seems like I've got a lot of catching up to do. Wait, so you said that Syntax has 17,000 hours. That's a lot. I have 209. Okay. Sentak is the best well baron. I'd beat him in a 1v1. My scouts reported that they had finally found Rockwell's compound. I set out to meet him at once. Well, that meant delegating matters that others might find more pressing. I did not hesitate. Mines like Rockwell's are a precious resource on this island. Joey wants me to go in a breeding competition with Syntax. To have him as an advisor would be invaluable. Whether Rockwell accepts my offer or not, my visit has already paid dividends. Apparently, he has spent some time researching the massive obelisks on this island, and theorizes that they may hold great power. If there is any chance that said power can be wielded, then I must learn all what that we I say can about power, about chap. With great power comes I've great responsibility. I've always tried to maintain a strict neutrality when it comes to tribal matters. But then again, I have never had an offer this tempting from someone as respectable as Mr. Nerva. Not only has he offered to provide me with test subjects, but he has also expressed a mutual interest in investigating the obelisks. All he asks from me is that I provide him with reliable counsel. I would trust few tribes to be able to make good on such promises. But Mr. Nerva's new legion is perhaps the most powerful tribe on the island. Indeed, if they maintain their current trajectory, they may be... The Aaron same is going way too fast. I have no idea what's going on. Everybody say hello, Aaron. Everybody say hi, Aaron. Considering, at the very least. After much deliberation, I've decided to accept Mr. Nerva's offer. True, the new legion is not beloved by many other tribes, but was Charlemagne beloved by his enemies? If my studies are to continue, I must be on the right side of history. As part of our agreement, I will need to travel with Mr. Nerva for a time, and wait to study the obelisks until the new legion has taken care of some smaller matters of foreign policy. As such, I have left Rockwell Manor in Isabel's charge. She will take excellent care of it, I am sure. Well then, so Ro to new Rockwell's joining um, Neddy. Maybe you can help. Rockwell is joining um, Nerva. So Nerva's invited Rockwell. What are they going off to do together again? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fred says, Aaron, you have to teach Butch how to build. Did you see Castle de Dino? Did you see the burrow? I don't think we had a name for the beach one. I felt like the beach base that we made was the most aesthetic in a sense like it looked the most base like artifacts spelunking okay spelunking okay okay bet 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 okay thank you daddy thank you but uh i think castle de dino is still my favorite 
Nerva wants to conquer the island, Rock wants to study the obelisks. Fair. I, I, I've never told anybody, Songbird. How dare you? The frontiers! Excelsior! These obelisks are fascinating. Apparently, Rockwell managed to coax a response out of one of them with an offering of some kind. Of the artifact. Could it be that they are some grand monument to the gods? If I appease them with a sacrifice, will they grant me their power? Yes, of course. Aaron, apparently you're held with quite high regard with the building. Can I just get you to put in the chat, Butch, I approve of your Shag Shack, and then I can screenshot it and keep it as a keepsake. And that's my kind of my trophy from Ark. I'd very much appreciate that if you could do that small favor for me. If we can get the Ark... <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> oh. Chat, I have work in the morning. But if I could have that, that would be great. Only only if you approve though. I don't want you doing anything like yeah, okay. But only if you approve. Janus may have chosen me to rule this island by bringing me here, but I must prove my worth to the other gods by completing this ritual. Well, now that I have Rockwell's counsel at my beck and call, I shall pass this trial with ease. Then, the power of the gods will be mine to command. I admit, I have been rather coy with Mr. Nerva when it comes to the true nature of the obelisks. As a military man, the obelisks would naturally be more useful to him if they were some sort of weapon. And I have made sure to allude to that possibility from time to time. It is not as though I am selling my gracious host to false. Nerva thinks that he's going to be harnessing the power of these obelisks. After all, I have neither any proof that the obelisks could be weaponized, nor any evidence to the contrary. Their purpose is entirely theoretical at this stage. And if twisting those theories will convince Mr. Nerva to march on the obelisks any sooner, then so be it. After studying my scouts' reports, I have concluded that few tribes remain who can successfully resist the new legion's march. However, the island's snowy tundras are a matter of concern. The dominant tribe in the region, the Howling... <laughs> yes! yes! Wait, hold up, hold up. This is getting screenshotted. There we go. It is with, it's the best Shack Shack he's ever seen. I need that, and then, hold up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, just, just getting these saved. Thanks very much, Aaron. We may, we may now continue. Does that mean that I am the Shag Shack goated? Well, thank you, so uh, thank you, Songbird. Fighters. More importantly, a prolonged invasion would prove nigh impossible in that weather. Yes, for now I shall avoid the frozen north. Instead, I will annex the smaller tribes, consolidate the new legion's holdings, okay. and investigate the obelisks with Rockwell. We've found something that Perhaps Dino's the their best power at. Can solve my northern conundrum. The new legion needs a true capital. One that embodies our strength and grandeur. I realized it while recalling my first day in Rome. My <laughs> Chat. I've just exposed myself. So. <laughs> my, uh, my fiance. She doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> she doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> so she didn't know about the Shag Shag. But she she can either hear me in the other room or she's in the chat and she's literally just messaged <laughs> she's just messaged me. You can't really see that. What that says. I am deeply disturbed by the term shag shack. My hometown in Numidia had its wonders. <laughs> oh no. But it could never match the splendor of that great city. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was in constant awe 
<laughs> Most on this island are consumed by the present, their immediate needs and struggles. Yet a new generation will live within our walls one day. We're when professional they see YouTuber. Their forefathers are built. Professional. I want them to be as inspired as I was. I want to show them that no matter where they are born, their destinies are theirs for the taking. Show her the shag shag. Sh um, she will change her tone. Eh, it's all right. We sleep in it. Ayo. He's Sorry. Mine. After Sorry. After a mighty struggle, the power of the Demon King is now mine to unleash. The cost was almost too great. I brought no, she doesn't only know about the vagina boss. beasts on the hunt, hoping to run him in circles. But even still, he managed to kill many of them. If it were not for Wu Zui, he may have killed me as well. But my Wu Zui is both swift and cunning. He knew exactly what distance to maintain, exactly when to retreat. No steed could prove more true. Tomorrow, I must begin acclimating the Demon King to life in my pack. But for tonight, I will allow myself to celebrate. I was wise to test the Demon King's hunting skills from atop one of my flying beasts. When he stumbled down the small rock formation, his eyes glowed with that familiar hatred. Oh he my god! He proved deaf to my commands. Wait, is that the In Giga? Time, he calmed down and obeyed me once more. But it was a fearsome thing to no. witness. No! That's the volcano beast that we tried. From the other beasts. Not only will it keep them safe, but it will calm That's their massive. nerves. They have been tense since his arrival. I cannot blame them. The Demon King's power. Yes, save. the Demon King. The Demon King. That's what it was called, the Giga. How did I not see one? Yo, chat, where do they spawn? Why did I not see one? Did I not look in the right place, or...? Yeah, this is Neddy's vids. Links in the description for the video that we're watching. Please make sure you go um, drop it a drop it a like. Um, go watch it there if you haven't watched it here. Mountains, mountains, Gandalf. I want to see mountains. Well, I've been up the mountains, so why didn't I see any? Care. Well, the Howling Wolves are quickly tracking down the artifacts, but after hearing about what happened to the Iron Brotherhood, that's as far as they'll go. It's understandable. But it leaves me in a tight spot. If a giant spider and I get in a scrap, the spider's winning for sure. They're just super Even rare. with Athena on my side, I prefer to avoid danger, not confront it. My aim's piss poor, and I've got fists like marshmallows. If I want a fair go at actually surviving whatever happens when the obelisk activates, I'll need backup. Negotiation notes. Don't mention feast. Either. All of these guys died on the island or managed to leave. Did I leave? Is that what I went through at the end with the, the overseer? Who the fuck is the overseer? Because I didn't see... Yeah, chat, don't... This is a rhetorical question, by the way. No spoilers. No spoilers, chat. Mods, mods, get ready. I'm going to squint as I say this. They're either all dead because I've not seen any remnants anywhere, or they've all left. And I feel like these notes are now building up to the story, okay? Sees. Not looking. Don't look directly at the Neddy, we said no spoilers! <laughs> the Overseer is Shrek. <laughs> Unburned. Am I making a mistake? <laughs> the final boss fight is me? now, hey now, you're an all star, <laughs> you get to go on. Yeah, babe, hey now, you're an all the closer Sorry. that great pillar of light gets on the horizon, Sorry. the more my concern grows. It is a gamble, no question. Helena said that she did not know if this pillar of light will behave like the other one. Yet, if it does, if we are transported to some other plane to battle a monster for a mysterious key, then there's a chance that this could be the first step on the path home. Megapithecus boss. If not that, then at least a path away from this Megapithecus. island and a new legion. Technically, Shrek is the Elena has hired me, but that small chance is payment enough. It's worth the risk. I hope I am prepared. Had I let fear rule me and left the Demon King behind, then Helena and I would be dead. Only with his strength will we be able to defeat oh, the Jedi. That's how people do bosses easy. With a Giga. 
That would have made my life a hell of a lot easier, no? Gigantic ape. His rage cost some of my pack their lives in the aftermath. Jesus, look at that. But that was the price of victory. The price of hope. The key we no. were rewarded with matches the one Helena already had. That means the third pillar must lead to a third key. They can't. And when combined, what then? They can't be used. It's uncertain. But ah. if each pillar takes us somewhere, then maybe their combined power can take us anywhere. Maybe she's cheating. She's using mods. It can take us home. Now, I know you don't get a nickname like Beast Queen without being one tough lady. But when I saw that giant ape, I still thought we were buggered. Fortunately, Mayan's got more intestinal fortitude than yours truly. And intestinal somehow, fortitude. Some way, she was able to pull out a win. Glad I'm on her good side. I already found the second key. Intestinal but fortitude. I want to take a look around here before we head back through the portal. This ape either lived here or was released when we activated the obelisk. Finding out how oh, it survived guts. in this isolated... Oh, I was talking like she can slam a Texas barbecue stuffed crust with no peppers and extra cheese. And like be absolutely fine. If I do that, I turn into a human lava lamp. I just sneeze the next day. And it's like a digestive exorcism. Sorry. Environment or how it got here could prove useful. The new legion is finally on the march. Not a moment too soon. Mr. Nerva runs his tribe exceptionally well. But their compound is positively Spartan. I don't think I saw a single piece of decor anywhere. It certainly made me miss the comforts of Rockwell Manor, I'll say that. Gotta go, mate. Work in the morning. Congrats on Davita and the Overseer, and welcome to the art community. Night chat and jury night. Aaron, thank you so much for taking the time to come on through. I really, really do appreciate it. It's awesome to have legends like yourself in. I promise you I'll go and watch one of your videos after this. Everybody say good night, Aaron. Say good night, chat. At any rate, we're apparently. I really do appreciate it, Aaron. Hey, most importantly, thank you for approving of the Shag Shack. Good night, sleep well. Beast Sweet dreams. Queen. According to the men, she feasts on the flesh of her enemies alongside her army of monsters. Dreadful. Mr. Nerva is convinced that she is heading towards an obelisk, but I see no cause for alarm. No mere heathen could hope to uncover its secrets, and certainly not alone. I have received disturbing news. Apparently the Beast Queen has resurfaced with an even larger contingent than before. Here we are. The Beast Queen, Mei Lin, Mei Yin, and Helena have teamed up. Nerva and Rockwell have teamed up. Oh, they're both getting, they've got the artifacts. They've both been fighting the bosses. I am Groot Lady is Mei Yin. My Mei Yin Lee. Lee Mei Yin. They the the two they two they fight. She is on they the fight. Well still, she is travelling directly towards one of the obelisks. I can think of no worse scenario than the obelisks falling into those barbaric hands. She has always been a nuisance. But with their power, the Beast Queen would pose a dire threat to everything I have built. I must mobilize oh my, my main... God. One of the four is... the Overseer. Rockwell is the Overseer. Force ...and move to intercept her at once. The future of this island may hang in the balance. I'm not looking. I'm not looking at chat. When my army arrived at the obelisk, I feared we were too late. The Beast Queen was They're gonna fight. To fight. They're gonna fight here. I was about to order a search of the area when I was blinded by a flash of light. Suddenly, the barbarian horde was right before us and battle was joined. Though the savage possessed a fearsome new monster, it attacked ally the and Giga. enemy alike. If anything, his presence made the slaughter more complete. By the end, the Beast Queen's forces were annihilated. No. She herself had fled with mortal wounds. Nerva At last, killed the Giga. A threat is ended. Interestingly, we also captured an acquaintance of Rockwell's during the battle. 
Perhaps she knew something about the obelisks that Rockwell does not. I am absolutely astonished, shocked, flabbergasted. Why in the world was Miss Walker investigating the obelisks at the side of such a savage woman? And without notifying me first? Was she intending to discover their secrets behind my back and keep them all to herself? Oh, Rockwell's pissed. The nerve. Rockwell's the audacity. pissed. And after I treated her with such respect and civility. Helene is yoked, well, man. Unfortunately for her, Sir Edmund Rockwell is always one step ahead of his rivals. Thanks to my partnership with Mr. Nerva, I can combine what scraps of knowledge she has on the obelisks with my own findings, and she'll be none the wiser. Why, since she is confined to a cage, I can keep my presence concealed from her altogether. So, these are the conquerors that I heard about way back when. This is all happening! What a great first impression. Mayin and I weren't quite mates. But watching her creatures get slaughtered like that certainly thing is, wasn't though, pleasant. At the very end of the episode that just released, so the overseer, and then you get the cutscene, and the uh, the the I am Groot lady. She she mentioned Helena, but it I felt like she was speaking in the third person. So was that Helena? Because I thought that originally, if you watch the video back, I'm like, oh, but if I'm not supposed to know, don't tell me. If I'm not supposed to know, don't tell me. But I wasn't sure. I'm not a fan of the prisoner lifestyle either. The leader I introduced she has himself an as Gaius Marcellus Nova. And he's not a complete bogan. I'll give him that. He let me keep my personal effects and our conversations have been civil so far. I get the feeling that'll change if I don't cooperate though. Not that I have much of a choice. They already took the keys. The only way I'm seeing this through is as a guest of the new Legion. Damn those new Legion cowards. At full strength, I could have fended them off. I'm so but they into attacked this. Just I as am we so to the into this. Light. What beasts I had were exhausted, and the Demon King flew into a rage before I could start a retreat. Can't believe they killed when the that happened, <gasps> all hope. Ryan Healy with the 100 quid donation. Great final video, Butch. Thank you for keeping us all entertained for over six months. Best playthrough ever. Did one's finger slip? That's fucked. All of you have been fucked. The amount of super chats that we've had is actually, like, revolting. Thank you so much, dude. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, no, that's not... Listen, the Ryan in the vid videos is a nine-year-old kid. If he's just come in and do owed a hundred quid, he's in trouble tomorrow. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody. Listen, hundred is a massive dono. 199 is a massive dono. It's, all of it is absolutely huge. The most and the best possible thing that you can do is just be here. Enjoy the videos. Drop in a like. All of that stuff is completely free, so that is insane. But I'm, I swear, I'm gonna get salmon for breakfast tomorrow, though. Holy shit! Thank you, Ryan. The last thing I remember is a sharp pain That's in my insane. side. That's insane. That's insane. When I awoke, the whole situation I was alone is just with Wu insane. Both of us were covered in blood, but Wu Zui's wounds were deeper. I cannot fathom how he carried me to safety in such a state. I must find a place to hide. Uzi no, and the I raptor. are alone now, and barely clinging Jesus, to it's just them two. She had a whole army, and now she's just her. Oh, the UT. That feathered fuck. What a pain and in the ass that to tame is. Gone. To his last, he was magnificent. The creatures that attacked us were larger, and with his wounds, they were even faster. 
But no beast could ever match Wu Zui in spirit. I buried him where he fell, saving me one last time. I was unworthy of such a loyal friend, but I will avenge him. His true murderers will pay. Oh no! Not the beasts, but the new legion. They are responsible. She's one I swear one by the souls of my ancestors that I will find their leader and drive my blade into his heart. In Wu Zui's name, I will take his head. Come on, Beast Queen, Beast Queen! Walker had told us to expect the dragon. some kind of monster after the dragon. meeting the obelisk. But I never imagined we would battle one of Ceres' dragons. No, that's not right. It was too colossal and wild, even for a god's chariot. I doubt Diana herself could control it. And this yet, was a bitch to the get new for me, by the way. Failed it. it cost the lives of many men and even more beasts. But it was worth the sacrifice. According to Walker, the third key we oh, have. I feel like that's what I missed out so much on. And it's the sacrifice I, I kind of have um, with the playthroughs that I do is when I don't have the in-game music on. I reckon that I should have kept the, the music on for the boss fights. Oh, that was epic, man. The way it's just running at the volcano and shit. I think that's why I got so emotional at the end of um at the end of the playthrough because I had the music there and I was like, and it was just like going, and I was like, oh my god, and I feel like I should have done that for the bosses. And it's like seeing this now, like it I does not feel I I I thought I would be in bed by like 10 but I'm like, oh no, because I keep watching it and I keep stopping to talk about it. This is insane. May allow me to open this cave she speaks of. Then oh, the geez. power of the ob don't start again. Twenty dollars from Tim Zarber Tim. Jorgensen. Thank you very much for the twenty, dude. That's insanely generous. Thank you very, very much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh my days. Listen, you guys are too and generous. This very island will be mine to command. This nerva bloke's fig jam incarnate. He seems to fig think jam. he's stupid as gift to the island or some rubbish like that. I think his ego was actually tangible when the Legion returned from the obelisk with the third key and the head of a dragon Dragon's in tow. Dragon's head. Sadly, as much as I would enjoy seeing him fall flat on his face, I need him and I need the new Legion. So, when Chat, he who would win in a fight? A 1v1? Me or Gareth Coker? Do you reckon we could 1v1 him? Now that would be a video. Oh my god, there's got to be a way I can get hold of him. I will literally pay. $19.99 from Alari Design. Start again. The amount of money that you have given today is disgusting, Alari. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to make it. I will literally... Do everything in my power to get hold of Gareth. And I will 1v1 him in arc. Asked me to guide his forces to the hidden cave. I obliged without protest. I don't what know if he's even played the game. Exactly. Exactly. What's... I don't know. Thank you so much, Alari. Thank Before you. Before arriving on this island, I would have dismissed the idea of a device instantly transporting a person from one location to another as complete and utter poppycock. Yet... That appears exactly what the strange platforms beneath the obelisks are capable of doing. Two dollars from Cybercat45. Yeah. You got to out music Gareth now. I could have a Good composer. Luck. off. I can't play any musical instruments, but if you give me that keyboard that I had in primary school, where you have a DJ mode, and it's like, D -d 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 DJ, DJ, D -d 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 DJ, and then it had this really sus key. When you pressed it, it went, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> $9.99 Ned the Noodle. Stick with us in the ARK community, mate. Well, if you wish.
You seem like a great dude and your energy is very refreshing for ARK fans. Neddy, thank you so much for the 10. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. And that means a lot coming from yourself. I will for sure be around ARK. It will not be the only game that I'll play always. I like to dip my toes into lots of different things, but ARK will definitely be a staple within... Um, within uh, my chat. I like to think of my channel as tapas. So you get a little bit of everything, but I'm starting to think that I'm going to have certain dishes, which is going to be the best. And Ark is going to be, in my tapas, the, the paella. The standard paella in my tapas of kind of everything. Sometimes I'll do something a little bit like, ooh, like Pacific Drive or something, for example. It's like, oh, what's going on with that calamari over there? I'm not too sure. Paella is the staple, and it could be there. Thank you very much, Neddy. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been insanely generous. Yes, appreciate yes, it. Yes, there was a dragon on the other side. I'm sure Mr. Nerva and his men fought quite the heroic battle. Holy but shit, wait, the volcano erupts? Dragon on the other side. I'm sure... I didn't see it erupt. I'm sure Mr. Nerva and his men fought quite the heroic battle, but... <laughs> discovering another... One pound and ninety-nine pence from mouse underscore tank. My mum heard you talking king about the shag shack skull. You should have heard your mum in the shag shack. The slobbering beast is trivial in comparison. Thank you for the two, mouse. Imagine. One could go from one side of the globe to the other in the blink of an eye. So that's the teleporter. It is. Wager, that is that's the how they teleport then. Capabilities. By beating the overseer. I must learn more. I must. As I thought, the Legion was at the last pillar of light. I sighted them as they departed, and have been following them since. They are too many for me to fight head on. If they spot me, I will be killed. But I know how to hide from All right, sight. Alright, she's got some... Oh no, she hasn't got some dinos back. Beasts. It did not take long to discern which one was the leader. No one <gasps> else walked... In the dragon's fight, it was erupting. But I was pooping too much to see. Yeah, the, the the dragon fight was squeaky bum time. Um, apparently, Rex's was a bad idea with the dragon fight. His pride. Or Jesus Christ. One pound and ninety nine pence Thank you from very much. Dashy Washy. Thank Are you, you gonna play Subnautica two next year? Yes, this absolutely. Authority. I could probably 100%. have hit him with an arrow by now. Oh, it's Subnautica but three I technically. Want him to see my face. I want him to know. That the Beast Queen vanquished him. So is it Nerva or Rockwell? I think it's Nerva she's after. I'm quite cross with Mr. Nerva's impatience. Ah, uh, Rockwell and Nerva's falling out. I had barely any time at all to study the obelisk before we set out again. This time to that cave Miss Walker mentioned. I wonder, does he believe that she knows more about the obelisks than I do? Nonsense! Any fool could see that I am the superior scientist. Besides... I am his official advisor, while she is his prisoner. Man. She isn't even privy to my presence. Nonetheless, I feel compelled to prove my nervous she's after metal. Whatever is in that cave, I shall be the one to discover its purpose. I the can't see if if you was playing Ark, right? If you were playing Ark, and there's some people out there in the world that play games and they don't look at YouTube or Twitch or anything like that, you you wouldn't have a clue about the fucking law, would you? You really wouldn't. It's only when you put them all together that you start to really kind of realise how in-depth all of this is. You guys reckon the survival stories ought to be remastered in Survival Ascended? Yes! One thousand percent. I would watch the fuck out of that all over again. Hundred percent. Neddy, can I ask you a question? How long do you reckon it took you to make um, this in terms of hours? And I know there was like obviously multiple, multiple people. I mean, if you would look, you look the actual menus in game and read them, but then listen, nobody reads in video games. Uh -huh. Trees of the obelisks are mine to uncover, not Miss Walker's. I even got so much hate in Subnautica for not reading the PDAs. How oh, it took us about six months to do the island. Fuck me sideways and call me Susan. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my days. 
Right, we better get a move on for Ascended. And Miss Nervous. Mine. Yeah, these barbarians. They smelled our music, weakness. man. Between our battles with the Beast Queen and the Dragon, the new Legion's main army has been distracted and depleted. Lesser tribes have taken advantage by raiding our camps and seizing territory that we claimed with our blood and sweat. Fine. Let them have their temporary victories. Let them imagine that Is they that have what inflicted real like? wounds upon us. When I obtain the power of the obelisks, they will pay for every blade of... 5,000 hours. ...grass they take from me. That's With insane. With that power, I will make them no true regret. My men are uneasy. News reached us that the Howling Wolves are on the march, heading straight for the heart of New Legion territory. Some want to turn back and defend our home. I understand the instinct. They lack my foresight. Only Rockwell has the strength of mind to see my vision. Oh shit, it's happening. We are nearly to the cave. It's happening. Once I hold the power it contains, I can use it to crush the Howling Wolves and their petty forces. Whatever gains they make will be erased. I'll unite the entire island in a single glorious battle. Soon they'll see, everyone will see, I am this island's destined emperor. Oh. I am its destined god. Let's go. Nerva and his this band return exciting. from the cave. They'll decide my fate. So this may be my Would you, turn. um, Neddy, you've got the... Would you, if you were going to do it, would you just use kind of this, you could literally keep the audio, if you still have the audio files and the same stuff, obviously the whole cinematics kind of need to change, but that's awesome. And the, the amount of dedication that you have to, to ARC, you are criminally, criminally undersubscribed and underappreciated. This is all, I feel like I'm watching a fucking movie. And I'm going to be so right. tired in the morning. I may as well take advantage of it. I realized that had I just ignored the signs and accepted this paradise. Good bit to pause on. One pound and ninety nine pence from Mouse, Mouse underscore Tank. I got to sleep so by Butch and Chat. Thank you very much, Mouse. Thank you for chilling with us. Really, really appreciate it. Good night, sweet dreams. Thank you very much. You've been hella generous. I really appreciate it. I said face value. I'd still be happy and free. Would that have been better? So how did Elena so. get there? Did I miss that? After a lot of thought, I've decided that. I'd rather die seeking the truth than living in an illusion. That, as Rockwell would say, is the path of a true scientist. Not She's that so I'm Galileo like... battling the church or anything, but hey, it's something to hold on to. I had not expected oh. to battle another monster, much less one so powerful. The overseer. Yet, here I stand victorious. My Wait. men lie dead. He My beat. beasts lie dead. Yet I still stand. Even Rockwell has never seen anything like this place. Surely it is some hall of the gods. Surely the power of the obelisks is here, waiting for a worthy champion to wield it. With it, I will not need beasts or men. Its power alone will win me this island. I need only to find it and claim what is mine. Oh, Please. wait, 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 look at that. Look at that. That's the island, isn't it? Wait. Is that Earth? Oh my god. Oh no, there's only eight minutes left. No. I need only to find it and claim I'm not going to get all mine. the answers I need. Praise Janus for taking me here. Praise Mars for lending me his strength. I claim this great victory in your names. Gaius Marcellus Nerva. Victory through discipline. It's kind of badass. 
I have never seen so magnificent a sight. Mr. Nerva may be bemoaning the loss of his men, but I would sacrifice them a thousand times over to witness such majesty. Rockwell is a fool. I have never seen a night sky so beautiful. Somehow this place looks down upon the oh, world from on the Oh shit! These the different maps. Has Earth gone extinct? It looks very beige. I don't think Earth is meant to be that beige. So something has happened on Earth which has caused people to make these. Are these are these arcs? Is that what an arc is? Is that why it's called arc? Interesting. What happened on Earth then? I thought this was some hunger. Hunger game shit. Aye. As though it stands upon the peak of Olympus itself. And my word. Are they X-Wings? The They're X-Wings, the little spaceships. Is this a Star Wars crossover? No. They look like spaceships of some sort, though. Oh! Can you build spaceships in one of the Ark maps? Peak of Olympus itself. Oh my god. And my word. The exquisite metal this place is made out of. It's not organic. That bizarre creature. Yeah, that, that, that's alien. That's not... That isn't human. That's like a organic metal, if you know, it's like a tendon, like a ligament. It reminds me of the material that lines the obelisks, yet somehow more alive. The very walls of this place seem to hum with power and possibility. Neddy, did you do these shots or are these I cinematics from somewhere this like in a cutscene or something? Perhaps one of these this is consoles will have something I could use. I'm not familiar with the technology, but I'm sure a scientist of my caliber could get something out of Seen it him. a little educated fiddling. Regards, sir. Educated fiddling. <laughs> fiddling. That's like I'm on a wank and a revision break. <laughs> I soon oh, here we go. Freeing Helena from her cage before following the legion through the portal they opened. She was too focused on the wonders around. There's us. no way these two are just she like. She saw that most of the legion was dead. She even tried to dissuade me from killing their leader. I knocked her unconscious. I wish her no harm, but I cannot let her interfere. She just knocked out At Helena. She told me his name, Nerva. That is the man I will kill here. On this most fitting stage. I admit, it is beautiful. The stars shine so clearly. I can think of no better oh. place for my vengeance. Here, at the edge of heaven, let our battle finally be decided. Nothing. How can there be nothing? I have searched ceaselessly. And yet I find nothing. I sacrifice my men, my kingdom, everything. I have nothing left to give. Why didn't everything he, if he beat I the other city, for is why gone? Didn't he go? For what? For a view? What trickery is this? What is this place? Am I the victim of some divine joke? I don't understand. I served the Emperor loyally. Why would Genus pull me from his service, if not to bring order here? That's an A. That's an Arc logo. I've cried out for answers, but the gods never respond. They have abandoned me. All I hear is my own voice, echoing off these cursed halls. Betrayed. Destitute and alone. 
Gaius Marcellus Nova. Victory through discipline. I suspect Nerva knew that he would not fare well in he battle. Died. After taking a couple blows for my sword, he dashed off into the darkness. Oh, I However, screen. I know he was deeply wounded. His blood cannot lie. I suspect this command center was created by something with technology far beyond most normal comprehension. In the distance, I can see several worlds. One that is clearly a place I've been. That I'm arts fuck, sure that, that pillar's are broken. Of these worlds. That scoundrel Nerva must have escaped before he could meet his death. Little does he know, I won't give up that easily. I will find oh, I've got goosebumps. I have goosebumps. To. There is a terminal that sits upon a platform near the end of the command center. Surely, through some combination of codes, that must unlock travel to other worlds. But it does not. It only adds another foe to the slime <laughs> by the oh, Beast King. Queen. Well, I'm not dead. And as it turns out, neither was Mayun. In fact, it was her who freed me and insisted we follow Nerva through the portal in the cave. A horrifying scene awaited us. All of Nerva's men lay dead amongst the shards of a mysterious metal. But Nerva's body was missing. Forgetting my present company, I suggested a peaceful approach if we encountered him. That earned me one hell of a knockout <laughs> punch. When I came hey, to, it. I searched the whole station, but the only signs of Mei Yin and Nerva were a few ounces of dried blood, no bodies, and no victor. There, floating outside the window and surrounded by machinery, was the very island that I had been living on. It and it too was orbiting high above the earth along with countless other stations just like it. Oh, that one's fucked. The ecosystem on the island wasn't just curated, it was completely artificial. Look, there's Carnivore Island! The, the, the mountains? Where's the redwood? The redwood's underneath that gleam. I think it, yeah, just there, you see the river that runs along the south bank of it. Our base was right fucking there. Then we had Castle de Dino, which is probably just a little bit out of shot there. And you can easily see, look, there on the right, there's the... Oh... oh. Yo, I'm getting nostalgic. Official from the ground up. What in the hell is all this? Why would anyone construct it? And how could they have possibly kept it hidden from the world? I don't have the answers to any of these questions or the dozens of others that kept popping into my head. That's an awesome shot. Somehow, That's an awesome shot. I mean to find out. Somehow, I'll find the truth. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Holy hell! <laughs> oh my days! Yeah, the goosebumps, man! And what the hell is that thing? A round of applause. That. That was insane. Oh my days. <laughs> Yo. That was incredible. That was incredible. Oh my days. Yo, let's get some love for Neddy in the uh, in the chat. Neddy the nude. Oh, the raptor! Rest in peace, Woo's was he? Was he? Was he? Troops.
That was absolutely sensational. Um, if you haven't watched the video, go and go through it right now. Go drop a like and go, go drop a comment. Um, just say great video, love you Nelly, whatever you need to do. Let's give the video as much love as we can because that is criminally underrated. I can't. I've just seen how many viewers we have. Wait, no way. Fuck off, we have 560 viewers. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. What? To the trailer, but um, I uh, I can't I can't stay late. Two dollars from Cybercat Forty Five Island and Extinction are the longest. They're the longest, are they? Okay. This is from my Instagram. I just want to go through one more time. The trailer short. From R is son. D -E 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 Don't watch the trailer. Do watch the trailer. Guys, I'm at work in the morning. Okay. I'll watch your trailer.
And then I gotta go to bed because I gotta go to work. Right. I gotta be careful here. I'm always scared when I'm doing anything. Like. Um, Rizzleson, thank you so much for the two. I Four appreciate pounds it. And 99 Dido. pence from Dashy Washy. Scorched is really small. The last two are ass, so basically 3.5 okay. maps. Okay. Do I do the. Is there an Ark Survival Evolved trailer? Or is there an Ark, Ark Survival? Guys, my, my bosses know about my YouTube channel and stuff. I can't, I can't pull any sickies or do anything like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Which one do I watch? There's one on Raz's channel. I don't know if that's the... No AS ASC trailer. So there isn't an ASC, only an ASC. So I'll watch the ASE trailer. There's only an Evolve trailer. I'm getting mixed signals here, troops. Can y'all align? <laughs> OG ASA, okay, okay. So. This one here at the top, this one. This top one, 3.9 mil views. The spoilers in the trailer. It's gonna spoil. It will spoil. What will it spoil? No, it's not going to spoil. You guys need to get on the same fucking wavelength there, troops. Don't do it. Oh, it shows the bosses. Hmm. You think wait for the ASA trailer? Oh, should we watch the trailer instead for the um for the animated series? Is there a trailer for that? Because I've not seen it. Ned, dear, I can't. You guys need to fucking sort it out. I'm getting the, right. I watched the trailer for that because that's not any. Okay. Can we watch the trailer for Arc Two, or is that going to be? No, we're getting out of hand. I need to go to bed. Um, the problem with where our stream troops is that wall there in front of me, that is where our bedroom is. And I, I don't, I think Loz might be sleeping. So, Arc Animated Series Trailer. See when it's released. I can't do watch parties, can I? That's breaking the law. Arc 2 is fine. Yeah, what's the deal with Arc 2? Why, why have they done ASA? I thought... I, anyway, right. I'm going to... Okay. Season 1 trailer. I feel like this is going to be good after watching Neddy's vid. All right. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably, everybody? I don't watch movie trailers that much because it spoils a lot. I'm going to watch parties on Discord. Trailers are not spoilers. Arc 2 died. What about Vin Diesel? Right, anyway, let's watch this. Come on. Focus up now. Focus up, troops. Ready? Neddy, do you have your, like, extra locks on your door? And, like, iron bars on your window? Because why hasn't the developers come to try and assassinate you? Because you've made a movie that's probably better than an animated series. Watch your back, brother. Gerard Butler? Now, nah, here's the thing though, right? Executive producers, did they actually produce this on there? Because I know some celebs just put the names on it. I'm proud of you. I couldn't do it with... I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. 
I am Groot Lady. I'm not going to look at your chat. I'm not going to look at you. I am Groot Lady is Helena because Helena said, I am proud of you. And I started crying in the cutscene. That, that they put that in deliberately. No, is that Helena's mum? That's Helena's mum. Is that I'm Helena? I don't know. I couldn't have done it without you. And you'll never have to. I've found in my life that a sense of loss is inescapable. Death smiles at us all in its time. Tell me you'll change your mind. I can help those people. I can. Trilobite. Tell me you'll change your mind. Trilobite. I can help those people. You get between two to four black pearls with them. I see, I know these things. I can make a difference. You'll be okay. Perhaps we are being punished, and the shadows of our deeds in life have followed us here. Okay, maybe not, Mum. No maybe, ma 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 maybe not, Mum. What this place is? Some think it to be the. <laughs> I really hope it's not, Mum. Another's purgatory. Could be Game of Thrones, though. How could I fear death, Helena? I have already died. As have we all. These are not my stars. Oh, this no. is no afterlife. I've got, I've got goosebumps her, again. I would see my wife again. I'm emotionally vulnerable. I would hold my son in my arms. Helena? There is only one way that we all come to be in this land of the would be dead, Helena of the Walkers. What will I do without you? Well, well, that's that's definitely the island. Wait, what's going on here? I would hold my son in my arms. Helena? There is only one way that we all come to be in this land of the would-be dead, Helena of the Walkers. What will I do without you? How did she get there? Oh, the music. Oh, shit. That scared me. What the hell? You mind not domesticating my dinner there? The name's Bob. And this place is a lot more dangerous Bob. than you know. Who's Bob? We should get moving. Is that Vin Diesel? You don't know how you got here, right? You woke up in the water, washed up on the beach. It was the same for me. This is the theme tune. Do, 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 do. Diego! Diego! Hi, I'm Helena. Mayin. <gasps> Mayin! The broodmother! <clears throat> oh, she won't be one. Fight to free all those whose names you do not know and may never know. Ryan! The Stego! T Rex? So is that Giga? And that's the Demon King. That's the Giga. That's a UT. That's a Rex. A path that few can walk. Burthers? Even with the most humble of opponents, defiance can grow into a threat. Do you not realize what can happen when a man defies the gods? Is that Nerva? Beast Queen! Give me a thousand lives, and I would give you a thousand deaths. I'm going to survive. Yo! Holy hell! She. 
Sheesh! That music. That music. Something else. told me fuck it just go for it just download it and i did one video and here we are it's been the craziest six months it's genuinely felt like an absolute journey it has been not easy at all to make these videos and keep up with everything it's it's it has been challenging but it's been so worth it seeing your guys' reactions to me making kind of stupid mistakes and everything it's just been unbelievable so honestly thank you so fucking much for, for everything just to reiterate yes i am playing scorched earth but please, please don't be surprised that I will play other games. It will be awesome if you wanted to come and watch some of the other videos that I'll do um, that aren't ARK. I, I, I put just as much of, of love into them as I do with the ARK ones. So that would be awesome if you want to stick about and, and watch some of the... Um, some of the other stuff that I'll do, that'll be, you know, cool. Um, I am making the Ark movie. That will probably be the next video on the channel. Um, I did stream Dragon's Dogma on Twitch for nine hours yesterday, but my recording got corrupted. So, best case scenario, Ark movie's out next weekend. No idea after that. What's the next game? I haven't decided yet, troops. I don't know. Um, I really, really don't know. I'm going to focus on getting the Ark movie done. Um... Yeah. Throw me the house elf. On Dragon Dragon and Dogma 2, we were a bodybuilding house elf. That wield a great sword. Dobby has no master, but he does have a very big sword. That was quite fun. So yeah, there's loads of stuff to do. Um But yeah. Neddy, thank you so much for coming on through. Thank you everybody. There is only one way that I can leave the stream. Unfortunately. Now I don't have an end stream. Uh, screen. Eagle, thank you very much for the gifted. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's only one way that we can do this. Are we ready, chat? Oh my god. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Guys, you can't stop me from going to bed. You can't. You can't. $9.99 <laughs> from Water Right. The best thing you can do is to avoid Amen. spoilers and go Amen. through the story. It's truly incredible. Mm -hmm. I think you love Extinction and Gen 2. Blue Heart, good luck on Sorch Earth, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um K by me, thank you so much for the uh, for the membership. Anyway, troops, it is time for me to go to bed. I know. I listen. Do you know how frustrating it is on a Sunday night when you have to finish doing something, editing and recording, to uh to have to go to work the next day? But uh, one day, one day, one day. Anyway, troops, thank you so much. I'm going to do this really professionally. I need to get the timing right. I'm going to do this live. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video at any point, please make sure to hit that like button. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. If you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We do, we do a lot around here. It'll be awesome to have you here. But most importantly... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.
Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>